We are live. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It's happening. The Game Awards. Watts, yeah, I got to tell you, I'm so happy to be doing this. There's nobody I'd rather do it than you. With than you. <laughs> I, this is going to be fun. I'm really happy to do this. Yeah. yeah. Watching the Game Awards with chat is really fun. Watching yeah. with the community. But watching with friends and community is the best. Yeah. Did you bring popcorn? Did you bring snacks? I have I have a seltzer water. <laughs> it's pretty close. Snack. It's not a snack. It's not. All I have is uh, water and drugs. So, depending on that's how perfect, I like the results, I'll I'll add drugs. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. <laughs> then maybe I'll get um, the munchies and leave for a bit <laughs> and go make a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, it's a watch party, so you can totally just get up and leave sometime. Yeah. Um. There was supposed to be more people here. <laughs> yeah, some people might um, join us still. They might, yeah. So we have uh, True Vanguard was going to be coming later anyway because he's visiting Santa with his kids. So That's right. He'll be here later. But a, a whiskey um, truck uh, tipped over on the highway near his house and he had to go assist. <laughs> <laughs> and he got Santa to help him. Yeah. Um, Mylan, his whole household has COVID, so he's a little busy looking after Leo. We'll I, jump see, in. I see Mylan right here. That's true, Mylan is there. You're right. <laughs> he's right there. It's like, I'm right here. And then Jay also has <laughs> sick kids. So you know what I've learned? Don't have kids. <laughs> That's what I've That's good advice. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is kids suck. <laughs> <laughs> Kids and pick up all the diseases and give them to you. Although I will say, in Leo's defense, it was not Leo's fault. But Leo has made Mylan sick for the last year. That's what they do. So. They're little. They're like little. They're. They're. You remember, like the Black Plague, like it was the rats that were spreading it. Yes, Kids yeah, yeah. Are like rats. They are pretty similar. <laughs> Except yeah, they eat not, more than not. rats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. They're more expensive than having a pet rat. Right. So what are you hoping to see tonight? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Don't say kids suck when I have the first on the way. Wrap them in a bubble wrap. <laughs> yes. And you'll be okay. Make sure you seal it real tight with tape. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get yeah. that shitty tape. Get the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's that's really what you just need to protect your health somehow. I don't know how you do it, but there's got to right. be a way. <laughs> right. Um, I have you am... looked into adoption? <laughs> uh i am looking forward to hopefully seeing a monster hunter although that's what i'm my, hoping too. my hope is dwindling just because they have dragon's dogma coming out in march okay so maybe they want to focus all on that but you never know i would take just the fact that it exists just a title of like you know it's coming it's uh, happened so i'm hoping for a monster hunter too but i'm specifically hoping for monster hunter world too yes right i don't want just yeah. any ra random monster hunter i want a follow-up to Monster Hunter World, because that's by far my favorite of the series. It was yeah, so good. The next the next one should definitely be the the big main one again. So Yeah. That should be what we're getting. Um, I think they've Elden already Ring announced DLC Cap trailer. Yes, I want to see that. But mm -hmm. I think they're setting expectations like that's not coming soon. We might see a trailer. They have but been. They have been, yeah. They're I mean, okay, so I'm glad you're working on it, but you know, I also want to play the video game. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I Capcom. would love to see more of Rise of Rise of the Ronin because that comes out next year. So if What's we got like Rise a release Ronin? date, it's an open world game from Team Ninja where it kind of takes place when the British are the British are coming to Japan. Interesting. Those are the guys that made yeah. uh, Neo. Yep. Okay. That yeah. sounds interesting. I'll watch that. Uh, the Game Awards hasn't the, hasn't gone live yet on YouTube. <laughs> no. Is it on live on Twitch? Well, I don't know. What are they doing? I can flip over. It's gonna mess up everybody's screen for a That's second. It's okay. I don't see anything at the moment. Yeah, and all the people that are also watching it also don't see anything. So we're okay. all just kind of waiting at the moment. They have four minutes to go live. So I would like to uh, thank our special guests, Robocop and Surprise Koala, uh, standing yes. in for Mylan and Tefty. Yep. We appreciate you for being here. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. Robocop just got a new video game. Very good. He did. Very good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> good for you, Robocop. 
still killing it after all these years. So Capcom's got a bunch of stuff, right? It's like they might have yeah. a new Resident Evil game this mm -hmm. year, whether it's a remake or a new one. It's isn't it? Don't they alternate years with a new one and a? Usually, yeah, that's what they've been doing for a little bit. Oh, there so, we go. Yeah. We got a countdown. Oh, do we have a countdown now? Yeah. On there it is. Three minutes. Woo! We did it. What's your so, thing at my at my? What's your thing at Briar? Two fifty two, two fifty one, two fifty, two forty nine, two forty eight. Wait, the more I reload, the t the more the timer goes up. Oh, that's 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 so good. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me completely reload it. How about that? Um, um yeah. Let me look at our stream to make sure this is. Are you at two forty one? Two thirty, two twenty nine. What the heck? It's a whole 10 seconds behind. You got the good one. Uh, chat, let I me like know if it. the volume is okay. And you can keep updating me. If it goes Ari, I'll be I'll be watching. Like if Are it gets too loud or it's too quiet. 217, 216, 215. Okay, I'm five seconds behind. I'm gonna try and get not. I'm gonna spoil behind. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a trailer ends, I'm going to be like, ooh, that's her world. <laughs> Don't watch on YouTube. Okay. Why not? Uh, let's see. The problem is the Twitch stream always messes up. Your mics are on point. Oh, thank you, Ed. 140. I'm always too loud. Am I too loud right now? I could turn myself down. <laughs> the problem is I do the sound check, and then I get excited. And I talk way louder. <laughs> you got to relax. It's usually 30 seconds behind Twitch, is what they're saying. Yeah. So if but we it's want usually update, better video quality and doesn't like, break yeah, up so as often. Yeah, so the, the Game Awards on Twitch is 720p. Uh, that's like... So... What is this? 2006? <laughs> yeah, and that's are we, the highest are we watching that PlayStation I can go, 3 I trailers? <laughs> 117? 15? 14? 103? 102? 101? Damn it. Damn, I'm, my internet connection is so good. It just won't get any faster. It's like being there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we also got to keep an eye out for Fran, who's at the... Yes, if you see Fran and you call him out, yeah. uh, I will give you something. It should uh, be I'll easy to find card. his hair. Yeah, I'm about, f I'm about 10 seconds ahead. A bit me behind, <laughs> not ahead. <laughs> 10 seconds behind, about. Let me just reload YouTube, the entire thing. Yeah, if you could clip actually seeing Fran, that'd be amazing. Yeah, you've got to show me proof. Ahead of YouTube. Oh, the music stopped. Are you think they're going to do like an indie I'm at showcase? 26 what are they going to do? Seconds. I can't make it go any faster. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Maybe the IGN one. Four? Three? Are they talking over it? I don't think so. Just so I can be at the same time as you. The following program may contain content that some viewers find offensive. Oh, hi. Oh, I, I almost wore the you. same dress. Good Thank God. Day. Here to greet you all <laughs> at... At what I consider to be my favorite holiday of the season, the 2023 Game Awards. And just like New Year's Eve, our Game Awards opening is that the award is behind her? Full of excitement and yes. celebration as the big is that what it's always like? Tonight, the, the Game, Game Award. Awards will celebrate the best in gaming from the past year, and we've got more than a dozen new game announcements. Plus, the old try up in the Asgard quality. You got it. Here from Alan Wake Two, they take the stage. For the first time ever, it is truly magical. And yeah, feel free to let us know about audio Alan stuff, Wake video two, stuff. Take the stage. We can adjust it. For the first time Ooh, they ever, got a 4K feed. Here, they do have a 4K the feed. Theater for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world, connecting millions of gamers and world fans premiere. And getting you all stoked for our big show. But before that, it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere of the night. Wait, why is there another counter up there? Yes, let's hear it. This is the pre-show, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in the pre-show we've heard. So, the is there? Here at TGA. Yeah. But this time, we're going back to the title that started it all for him a decade ago. 
Here is the first ever look okay. at a beautiful okay. remake of okay. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, <laughs> originally created by director Joseph Ferris. 505 Games. Reminds me of kayaking. <laughs> That's what Brian does on the weekend. <laughs> Just cry in a boat with no oar. <laughs> <laughs> the Game Awards audio going up a smidge. Yep. <laughs> Can do. Visually, this game looks great. Art style's good. Brothers. February 28th, 2024. That's pretty soon. Brothers. This <laughs> remake. Best family game. Here we go. Incredible. And how perfect that right after the world. Oh, am I spoiling brothers, it? We have the award. <laughs> oh, I'm in the future. Oh, no. Game. Go back. These are the games that bring families together <laughs> or tear them apart, depending on how dirty you play. And the nominees are. Disney Illusion Island, <laughs> Party Animals, Pikmin 4, Sonic Superstars, and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. We're now probably 10 seconds behind, so. Oh man, really? You're that far ahead? The 4K feed Super is killing Mario me. Brothers Super Wonder. Mario Brothers! That was shocking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are we on the same time now? Probably. Maybe? Bring the timer back so I can see. Thank you so much. <laughs> that doesn't look like voice. Mario. This is shared with all the teams. At oh, Nintendo it's Bowser. Worked on Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> In but my of course. The team really tried to develop a game that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends or it was family. And for me, my personal experience. When the timer comes back, I'll, I'll see if we're more synced more up. I'm okay. trying to rescue. An, an empire, a, a kingdom. That's Doctor Mario from the evil oh. likes. An empire. Finally, playing, Nintendo admits what they are. Playing as <laughs> Elephant Mario, um, Peach, Yoshi, or Nabbit. This game goes to everyone that created such a wonderful experience. Thank you. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And now okay, I have a twenty-five. Let's see. All of you. Fifth. 50. Three world premieres in a row. 46. 48. What? 47. First up okay. is the oh, second seconds. I'll take it. Daniel That's acceptable. Boland, the creator acceptable. Of the TGA That's pretty good for the internet. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Ooh. Do I have subtitles on? Is that what's happening? That's probably not a bad idea to have subtitles on. Yeah, subtitles is probably a good idea. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, oh. Very boat themed game awards. Ah, the ancient Oriental. The ancient USB. <laughs> Japanese. Ah. Ooh. Interesting. Yes, I'm sold. <laughs> I don't know who that guy was, but I want more. <laughs> this is cool. I like it. Yeah. You plug the USB into the bow? I want that arcade. That ancient arcade. Yeah, the one that grows legs? Yeah. Pony, Pony Island, Island. <laughs> 2. Panda Circus. I never heard of Pony Island 1, but I'm interested. That looked cool. Yeah. I'm down for some of that. Netflix. Netflix game. Netflix has a couple of games on their site now. They have uh, Into the Breach. They do. And they have, I just heard of another one that's going up on their thing. And like, all you gotta do is have a Netflix subscription and you can just download them. I think they're all phone games though. It's 
Rise right of the Gold Nile. It so- sounds like an Indiana Jones movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the title does sound Indiana Jones. Did you see the new Indiana Jones? I didn't. It was a lot better than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, styles. Right. Cool. Kind of like a Spider-Man into the... Into the multiverse into, kind of thing. Into the spy, Spider-Verse? Spider-Verse, multiverse. yeah. Creepy. Finji. Finji, okay. Sweet baby. <laughs> oh my god, I was watching Sweet Home today, the new show on Netflix. Not for me. Too scared. <laughs> We're friends with the spooky fella. Good music. We got Sim Simblish. I do like the presentation of this. Yeah, this is cool. It's it, it reminds me of um a game we played that was a like a dating sim story game, but there's also combat. I like the style a lot. It's cool. Yeah, they use like the flame frame rate to like make it look more like uh, animation, which is kind of mm. neat. Yeah, that was cool. Twenty twenty five. God damn. Well, remind me when we're closer. Me, yeah, because I will forget. I should open my Steam <laughs> wishlist now, <laughs> so I can just be typing <laughs> games into it. That's true. That's a good point. Media. And I might speaking make a list. of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across fifty plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating gaming I'm creators have a list and don't of things forget to share play. all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. Okay, we're going to take a, a quick turn break. Nights is what it reminds me of. Yeah. More opening act after a very important quick message. break. Don't skip this cutscene, people. In, the in, journey okay. ended here, a place of wonder and awe. We breached the cosmic veil and reached a new planet. Yet generations later, this world remains Is this stellar blind? <laughs> Our reunion was foretold. No. Our paths are destined <laughs> to cross. I'm here for you now, Administrator. It's a it's weird mix of art. Okay. It's Arknights. <laughs> Arknights? Arknights, yeah. Like the, I the love backgrounds the look realistic and then the characters look yeah. anime the style is cool arc knights has a really cool style it's also an anime if you want to get into it briar so mm. you know <laughs> briar is adding it to his list guys do not worry that was a face I'll, of i'll put absolutely. it on my crunchy roll wrist, wish list <laughs> <laughs> oh the matchless kung fu Trial. A lot of time trials. Oh, building? Stealth? There's a lot going on in this game. This is a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Building, uh, real-time strategy management, combat. I'm trial. Uh, the combat looks fun, though. <laughs> it does look fun. <laughs> Reminds me of this Samurai cool. Showdown Supers, where the background goes red. And... The Chosen you One. I've never been that before. One. What was the name of that game? Matchless Kung Fu. Matchless Kung Fu. I'll write it down. Now I must take up their mantle to restore the dynasty to its former glory. To reclaim what humanity has lost. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a Warhammer game. Bring the light of the it does. As soon as I saw that the guy, the, <laughs> the like, ar okay. armor, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that either, looks like Warhammer. Yeah, that dude's a Titan, or this is a Warhammer game. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous heretics, vile mutants, and Xenos threats beyond number. All must be cleansed in his name. The choice is Sick. I Are any of you guys excited for this? The, I think this might be a game that just came out, right? Each haunted step. 
Oh, did it? I think it might have. Oh, is this the most recent one? No. Rogue <laughs> Trader. Out now. Yeah, out now. I see. Yeah, I would like to try that. I like, like real-time strategy games. Oh, this is Briar's corn of the internet here. Today, you are to see a traitor. <laughs> oh, the VR Assassin's Creed and game? Come on, this does look mm -hmm. cool, though, right? For his crime, the penalty is it does. Death. You like murdering people? It should be right up your alley. <laughs> I'm in search of a treasure. I can murder them in first person with a stabber. Day on the canals with my good friend Itzio. What could be better? Oh, I could go canoeing. Always, Antonio. In the end, the Templars will succeed. Is that the girl from Deadpool? Oh, I have no idea. Oh yeah, in a game where we can kill them, cook them, and eat them. Is this only I on Meta Quest? Game. I might have to get a Meta Quest. To it did say Meta Quest, yeah. yeah. So it might just be Meta Quest. Yeah, I might have to get one of those. Those are really neat because they're completely wireless. Cool. I think they're like what three hundred dollars? How much Welcome is a Meta Quest? Chat. chat. <laughs> Someone acts. must know. I'm still yeah, somebody Cindy knows. Goodman. It's like three Here or four hundred dollars. Another anyway. award. This time for innovation and accessibility. Five hundred. Gaming Oof. community is That's massive, a bit much. but honestly, it should be even bigger. And these nominees are pushing gaming beyond its current. Where's Fran? Their teams have created software and hardware that make it possible He's for at the people bar still. You know he is. To experience <laughs> He's like, I walk in right when they start to show. Technology that get us all True. one step That's closer right. to a seamless play for everyone. So this is oh. best accessibility. These companies are doing the okay. work. for accessibility. And they are. Diablo 4. Forza Motorsport. High five Street Fighter 6 wins Street Fighter 6. Six. Come on. Street Fighter 6. Two. I want a Street Fighter 6 sweep. Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> and Street Fighter 6. Sure, I on. voted for Street Fighter 6 here. And Dynamic the mode. Goes to Forza Motorsport. It's got it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll say I don't know what they did for no, accessibility no innovation. <laughs> but good so on you. Maybe it was great. This category yeah. was great. introduced several years ago. I think we've seen a dramatic shift in the whole industry towards making games more and more accessible. And with this list of amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point, I, I think we've made the most accessible racing game ever playable by people across the mobility and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. Oh, and that's right. Real winners here you can play this game if you're blind by sound, I that's, think. That's pretty good. I remember dope. hearing about that. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. There you go. Yeah, that, that is good. Of six. It's really Still great. awesome. None though. of this would have been possible <laughs> yeah. without the amazing teams behind the scenes. Big thank you to our audio team for their tireless effort, championing for accessibility and making this game the best that it can be. Big thank you to the UI team, to our studio leadership team and our accessibility leadership team. And last but last least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the last two years. We're really proud of the work that we've mm -hmm. been able to do. So thank you very much. They just released the PlayStation um, controller that, uh, remember how the Xbox released the accessibility the controller sport. like a couple years ago? PlayStation oh, just released yeah, yeah. one of those, I think today. And want to celebrate any game Ooh. that makes it a priority. And our next developer, The Odd Gentleman, believe that by making their well, he has a name. their company accessible, the Odd Gentleman. <laughs> they can develop new types of gameplay with Jeez. stories that everyone can enjoy. They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. Oh, nice. This is Harmonium the Musical. Hell yeah. Oh, I like that logo. It's cool. That is a good logo. Art style is great. Implants. Where are those hearing aids? Man, it must be it must be a tough work getting sign language to look really good and readable, animation wise. Right. It's a lot of intimate animation. Does you know King Kong knows sign language? Really? Yeah, according to King that. Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> Did Kong say that? Well, you know he signed. <laughs> okay. Oh. Probably they do mocap it, but still you gotta get the fingers. Yeah, I gotta get the fingers to, to read. I love the visuals of this game too. It's yeah, it looks great. awesome. It looks like a Pixar movie. 
It does. I'm so glad yeah, all games cool. aren't brown and gray anymore. Right. <laughs> so the characters are so cool. Really good character design. Yeah, the music's good. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. I mean, Harmonium. Harmonium. Netflix games. That's really cool. Oh, and Game Pass. There you go. Netflix and Game Pass. Honestly, I Netflix don't know is, uh, making a push. Can get. What happens past a golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Also, can I please be paid in platinum? I'd like it direct deposited, please. Maybe. And now I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five esports categories. The nominees for best esports athlete. Ah, esports. They're just getting Damn. all the esports. They're just like, Where, ooh, wait. Faker, my name? obviously. Ruler. Faker. And Imperial <laughs> Howe. And the game award oh. goes to. Oh, 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 never mind. <laughs> I thought she already Faker. answered it. It's going to be Faker. <laughs> I thought she already the answered it. You know, know the winners first, already? I was like, <laughs> Potter, Zonic, Gunba. It's probably going to be Goomba. Ecstasy, Coach. And Homie. Homie. Homie gets my vote. Okay. Oh. oh, Potter. Lame. Never mind. I was wrong. For best Lame. Event, Incorrect. Here are the nominees. <laughs> 2023 League of Legends World Evo 2023. World Blast TV. Right, Evo 2023 was good. It was really good. It was good. a really good one. It was really fun. And I haven't watched any of the others. <laughs> and yeah, I watched League and Evo. League probably wins. I assume. 2023 League of Legends World Championship. They the had new jeans. You can't compete with K-pop. Counter Strike Two. Simply impossible. Dota Two. League of Legends. <laughs> PUBG Mobile. And Valorant. I voted for and the League, League of Legends here. To? Yeah. Yes. Valorant. Valorant. Like, Valorant. And finally, wow. The nominees for best esports team are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic, Gaiman Gladiators. Which of these Ooh, teams right? hasn't been canceled? And <laughs> and the Which of these teams has not harassed anybody this month? <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Fan. Fun you fact, be, uh, when I was in Japan, Japan I saw a cafe balls? where you could Family. watch Dating Valorant. You could watch the oh, Valorant like tournament. Valorant matches? <laughs> it was like a Valorant cafe. Or That's another. kind of neat. Yeah. First up is the latest game from a team two world premieres back in 2017. So I think we can trust them to crush it again. 2017. This is Windblown. Windblown. <laughs> well, I like the look of this already, too. Sekiro. I like the art style. <laughs> That's the kind of parenting I can get on board with. <laughs> Ooh, dangerous. Dead cells. Creators of dead cells. I'm feeling a rogue light here. I was gonna say, because like there's a lot of death. Oh, and an upgrade. There you go. An upgrade gives you more powers. This oh, looks yeah. like, uh, was it Bastion? Oh, but it's much faster. Ooh. Yeah, it's like Hades and uh, three players. Is I mean, three player? Yeah, three player co op roguelike? Question mark. Oh. They don't mind chopping them up in this trailer. <laughs> they, they don't. <laughs> Now this is, Ooh. I love the art style. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Lots of blood. This is great. And it's by the creators of Dead Cells, I mean. Yeah, it's a pretty significant upgrade in graphic fidelity over Dead Cells. Wind blown, sign me up. Early access. Wind blown. Add that to the list. Yeah. Definitely. Thumper. I love Thumper. I thought that said behind Trump, and I was like, interesting, interesting. Humper? The team behind <laughs> Trump. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Trump Tower? Oh, this looks sick. This is, you definitely want to be high and play this game. I'm in. Sold. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, this looks cool. I like this. Creepy. 
It does yeah, look like, like a Rhythm Res game, right? vibe. Looks like... Looks like it could be a Rhythm game. That's a baby. That's Rapture. a baby. Rapture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sold. Rapture. Put it on the wish list. I'll pre-order that one. <laughs> I, lo I like Thumper quite a bit. I played it in VR. The same artist slash composer oh. that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another mind-bending game coming cult from hit. him in 2024. <laughs> Special shout out to Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub. Bacon <laughs> Baby. Are also throwing a massive game awards viewing <laughs> Just, party that was one over of the at Samsung's New York City flagship location <laughs> oh, with Typical Gamer and Chica. I wish I could be at two places at once, but the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT experimental physics lab. Oops, but we can talk about that later. Let's check out what Samsung is coming out with now. Samsung? Samsung. They have Starfield. I just, I just bought a new TV, so if they announce a new TV, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung Gaming Hub. Oh. So funny, ha ha ha. <laughs> what was that camera? You in? Ooh, monster. All right, we're advertising Game Pass on Samsung and the game, Samsung Gaming. Ah, uh, Persona? Persona music is so Let's good. Begin. Even if you don't play the games, listen to the soundtrack. Go for it. It's so good. Now that's what I'm talking about. Moonwalk. They're selling <laughs> copies of Persona 3 and Persona 4 on Limited Run right now. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I've yet to play a Persona. Where should I start? Weebs, get him. <laughs> is it a series that you have to like follow from start to finish or can you just jump in anywhere they only appear during the dark i don't know i don't really know either i've never played through a full persona there are very long games it's our job to defeat them you don't need to persona 5 persona 5 persona persona 5 there you go next come on try to fight when you know it's hopeless I don't even really have a good reason to live. Swings his sword like a For baseball bat. Or you or anyone. Just simply existing gives our lives meaning. Soon, <laughs> the end will come. Was that Gargamel? <laughs> Was that <You're> Burns? Is <laughs> that Mr. Burns? To me, this is what it means to live. I think three and four are the same characters, but five is definitely independent. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, Persona 3 is getting uh, a remake. Oh, so this game, yeah, this so. is that. Okay. So you can play 3 Remake. Persona 3, did it come out on a real console or was it only on PlayStation <laughs> Portable? Yes, I was hoping for Ooh, a new I don't know where it originally came Persona out. A game that is, I still want to be Sydney. But enough about me. Make sure to stay tuned as Google and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 are bringing you a spectacular celebration of mobile games. There's a it's not easy to deliver game. jokes that you didn't write. Just like this next <laughs> Just world give her a little credit. It's the product of a surprise team <laughs> up between two yeah, nominated doing games fine. tonight. She's a positive that. lady. Dave the Diver. I gotta get this game. Dave the Diver Best is Best indie very, game very of the game. year, I hear. Not an indie game, but a very I, good I game. I heard most indie game of the year. <laughs> I heard that you're an indie game as long as you make it with an indie vibe, you know? As long as your vibe is indie, you're good. As long as you have pixel graphics in your game somewhere. Yeah, if it's 2D <laughs> pixels, you're an indie game. I have Wait, heard this game is excellent, from... That's the girl. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the girl from Dredge. They're doing a Dave the Diver oh, really? Dredge crossover. It. It's yeah. It's almost time for our big show. That's the cool. Is I was like, wait a second. Me. It's hard to hear myself think over all the excitement. Was that Fran? I have to keep it together because I have Where's to Fran? board ready to go. Here are your nominees. Did you guys see Fran? I think you walked in the background. The 
I don't know. Iron it was House. A dude with dark People hair. Make games. Content creator of the year. It's uh, Spring. this is Briar, and I think. Cypher PK. Briar Rabbit. And the nothing. game award goes to <laughs> Iron, Iron Mouse. Mouse. So Iron Do you know Mouse that person? Be here tonight because yeah, Iron, Iron Mouse, Mouse is, is great. Really and sadly, we're not in the She's Matrix a VTuber. Yet, but ah. she did send us a message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. Oh. Here we go. I am so Mr. Hey, Trivia guys here. It's a me. Uh... Welcome. First and foremost, I want time to, to do an audio check. One, two. Heartfelt gratitude <laughs> to the incredible Are you guys community live? that has yeah. gathered around my oh, screen. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. I also to to be yeah, for context, Iron Mouse oh has um so much to has health Nadolfi problems that make it to where she can't physically be there. So. Oh, okay. It makes me really happy that she's able to to do VTubing. Because yeah, when you have a, a chronic illness okay, of any kind, so you kind of feel like you can't show, have a life. So the fact that she's able to yet. is and no, awesome. I'm not a narcissist. I'm just a hoarder, a hoarder of world. And look, you're in time. You just didn't. You just missed the pre-show, TV. What, what did I miss? Nothing. I mean, everything and nothing. Oh wait, <laughs> world premiere, 15 years in the making. How are you, TV? Hey, I'm good. What yeah. Crazy, word. busy, good. It's holiday season, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad they never made another one. <laughs> That's great. Right. We're watching on the Game Awards on YouTube in 4K. Because they have a 4K feed. Your time might be a little off because it was hard to get. It was hard to get close. Okay. Are you close to live then? Or? Yeah, there's no we're timer. Live. There's no timer that I can give you. <laughs> there was a timer. Maybe the timer will come back. It looks like that Wii U game, the ooze or something. <laughs> That's Apparently, this is a 15 year old game. Can't believe it's been 15 years. Okay, those characters remind me of that YouTube series called Salad Fingers. You oh, remember that, yes. Briar? Yeah, I've I do remember that. that. Yeah. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting off those characters. World of Goo? Was that the game on the Wii U? Or is that this game? World of it Goo might sounds be familiar. Yeah, if it's 15 years ago that World of Goo came out. I never played World of Goo. Yeah. Fortunately. Might have come out like on mobile or something that long ago. World of Goo 2. Dude, there there it is. Well, there we go. 2024. Man, that is satisfying to Let's watch. see if that timer Almost comes back. As satisfying as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. We have one more huge world premiere. A world brand premiere. New fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And tonight they're giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Let's do this. Oh, wait, I know what this is. It's a story. What's the name of it? I remember this by the creators of Persona. Yeah. It's a world where all people are equal and no oh my God! What's the name? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. Oh, I always wish I had two different color eyes. Me too. That'd be cool. I might start wearing a contact. In yeah. One. Just one though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I might start doing that. What color would you get? Um, well, if I do my usual eyes that I do in an RPG, they're pink, one's pink and one's green, so I need two contacts. Green, they match your hair. <laughs> yeah, might be a little too much matching. Take a shot every time they say world premiere. Sure. <laughs> okay. TV, <what's> <laughs> 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 they do. <laughs> When I get so excited when they say world premiere. <laughs> the music. Do you think that GTA 6 was supposed to be on here before it got leaked? Um, they were going to do a trailer the day after it got leaked. So it only got pushed up a day. Oh, okay. Because trailer one, I think, was supposed to be before the Game Awards, and then trailer two is in the Game Awards. Maybe. Something like that. Graphically, that game looks pretty impressive. It does. Yeah, it does. 
<laughs> Metaphor yeah. re Fantasio. Metaphor Fantasio. Fantasio. Okay, my friends, that is it for our 2024. Act, Only TV has that much done. Boots. <laughs> Okay, where's Fran? Where's Fran? Fran. Fran, Fran look out. Fran, look out. <laughs> look for Fran. If you find Fran and send a screenshot, I'll give you a gift card. Absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredible special guest. Can you text him? Find out where he's sitting. So we know where to look. I have to admit, I'm freaking out. I'm completely starstruck. And get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. Ooh, it kind of looks like they're gonna they're gonna nail that one. Okay. The Fallout it did look series. good. That trailer looked very good. Yeah, it does look good. Can you I bump hope so. up the audio a bit of the yes, the can. Game Awards, the video? Yep. Yeah. Feel free to let us know if anyone needs to be bumped up or if Fran is the next world premiere. <laughs> Where are you sitting? I'm making small adjustments, so it needs to go more. Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. Now, Game Awards, the creator of the Game Awards, Fran is the next one. There he is. He's is that Fran? Red oh, that bottoms. Oh, that's not Fran. Now, Fran. No, like, <laughs> every time they show the audience, Fran. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards. Is that a velvet suit. Ooh. Tonight is our 10th TGA, a global celebration of video games, and boy, do we have a show for you. I am so excited to get this started. Together, we are going to recognize outstanding creative work in games in 2023, and we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. More than anything, this is a show There's about one. Apparently, Fran isn't there. He's in a suite. <laughs> oh, Fran is in a suite watching it from a very fancy suite. More oh. There's booze yeah. there, I bet. Extraordinary <laughs> video game. Smoked salmon, a bunch of cheeses I can't pronounce. Yeah. Mm, fancy <laughs> cheese. I said, I told him to get in Discord, and he said he'll join if he can. So. And maybe even change us. That's he'll be too drunk to operate different. a button. Games the actual things we play are insanely special, and we're going to celebrate that for the next few hours. And we've got such an yeah, amazing Yeah, look, look for Liana in us. the crowd. They're built by yeah, talented creators she's there for teams, sure. And many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning Game of the Year in 2017. They're like, wait, He's like, are you speaking to me? Why are you talking to me? I think that was my name. There's a dude in a suit of armor behind us. He's got a serious bodyguard. Lead system you imagine you don't, you don't understand anything. Hey, Mark and then you just hear your name and you're like, Thank you for being here, Mark. We're supposed to do something. Towers here, too. Hey, Pizza Tower. They're Everyone's <laughs> here. They're so cute. Alina Jurgens, our best performance winner in 2017 for Hellblade. Welcome. Oh. Mm. What's Hellblade mm. coming? Is that this year? And we are also it's supposed to be 2024. To Maybe we get a release date for Hellblade. Oh, I'd like that. Rizzo, I love Hellblade. celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year. And a Game of the Year nomination Ooh. for Resident Evil. Welcome, guys. It's so great to have you with us. The whole crew is there, Ross. They're not here just for Resident Evil. No, they're not. They're here Let's for more right reasons right. than that. To present tonight's first award <laughs> is last year's winner of Best Performance. Please join me in welcoming back Dude, they to the Game Awards. Yep, all we're of Capcom. It. The actor behind Kratos in God of War. Yes. Christopher Judge. All right. If anybody's got a pee, now's the time. <laughs> we got some time. Does anyone have a stopwatch? Start the timer when he starts you, talking. I think you can fit a number two in here. <laughs> he pulled out his watch. <laughs> I'm going to go make dinner. Oh, what a card. Good evening, everybody. He's great. Are those snakeskin pants? This dude is the best. Such a <laughs> yeah. to be back here. I have such great memories. I could never pull that off. Oh, oh I think they would look great on you when you kayak in my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the kayak, <laughs> kayak apparel if I've ever seen it. They're playing them off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I get it. I get it. I'm not gonna That's great. stand up here making all the speeches. I'm gonna stick to the I script. I hope he wins. 
No eight minute speech like last year. <laughs> but fun fact. That was eight minutes. My speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty <laughs> campaign. Oh. Got him! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Gamer jokes! <laughs> uh, another company I'll never work for. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here to present this is great. the award for best <laughs> performance in a year uh, of games. Oh my god. Beloved by audiences <laughs> and acclaimed by critics, these Ooh. actors delivered six Wait, what anime, Oki unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. Ben Star. Ben Star. I just really love Ben. Ben is just, he's just, he's just the best. It's been a long five years. He's just the best guy. Hope may feel oh, beyond yeah. our grasp. And also, um, Ben Star, he lost his dad while he was recording the audio for Final Fantasy 16. So all oh, of the sad. pain that you hear in his voice is like real pain. And you can tell. You can tell it's, it's real pain that he's showing. the hero here. I was going to vote for Ryu in Street Fighter 6, but I'll go with Ben since. <laughs> Whoever wins, <laughs> Jeff has given me the okay to say, take as long as you want to, thank everyone who's ever meant anything in your life, and I dare you, I, like I double guy. dare you to try to break my yeah, he's record, great. seven minutes, 59 seconds. <laughs> and the award goes to Neil Nubar. Nice. A star. It's Fran. He deserves it too. <laughs> it's Fran. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. He obviously did great. I like his outfit. Yeah. Oh, he's got the shoes and everything. Yeah, Sir Gooch. He's, uh, it was, it, Ben made me cry a lot during Final Fantasy 16. Let's just say that. I cried oh. a lot. <laughs> um, this is unreal. Oh. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> don't cry, I'll cry. You stop that. <laughs> no, sure. Put them uh, tears away. So, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. There he is. Like, my incredible uh, fellow Best actors friend. and all these the unbelievable <laughs> talent. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary. So thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian. Uh, to, I'm going to forget everybody. Uh, to uh, Pit Stop, who worked so hard, the directors, my this fellow This is Baldur's actors, Gate 3. Yeah. Incredible. I haven't played this yet, but it's on my short list. Uh, to me, my Mimia, wife and I are Gathias, you know, neck deep in it right now. Gathias, You're doing it. a duo playthrough? Yeah. That's yeah. great. And to my agents, I will thank you later. I'm sorry. I'm going to wrap it up, apparently. One oh, thing I will say, please, the that's toes. okay. The community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank oh. you so much for seeing us. Appreciate it. If you're not alone in this, none of us are. Thank you. They just announced like a special edition, physical edition for that game. I think I'm going to order that. Yeah. What a cutie. I have 120 hours into Baldur's Gate 3 and have not finished the game. That's awesome. <laughs> three, char three characters. Three characters. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, How close are, are you? Awards to come, but now I'm, I'm on the home stretch on my solo play. Does it have to take that long? World premieres, and for the honor of presenting our first one, it's an incredible thrill. To world premiere. True Drink. Renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award-winning actor and New York Times best-selling author Matthew McConaughey. Oh, Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Thank you all for having me. Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be here with you at the Game Awards. I love the YouTube chat. It's like WTF. I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me. He said no, the thing. There you go. Don't do that. Come hey. on, say Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> all right, we'll see how that, how that, how that handles. 
I'm here tonight because I have a world premiere for you from Austin's own Archetype Entertainment. I'm also Archetype here tonight because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. Yay. Mm. You programmed it. When the Archetype it. team first reached out to me, <laughs> I was excited about becoming a part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on was when they shared the game's vision and my role in it. Fred? I will be voicing <laughs> the character in this game, and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. In this game, time moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices that you make not only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for this generations isn't to come. Interstellar, is it? Now, personally, I have had this some experience with time cool dilation. This is a very cool premise. Now you can too. <laughs> time dilation. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. That does sound like Interstellar here. Exodus. All Based right. off of the Bob Marley classic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Max, we need to head back. Hold on, I'm getting a reading. Okay. That premise got me kind of excited. What you mm -hmm. found that day was a miracle. It would be Whoa. our salvation. Ooh. To fight against the Celestials. Humanity's greatest enemy. Oh, we're fighting aliens. They found us. Celestials hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. Not I good. led them away from this. This looks world, like Mass Effect. Away from yeah, it looks like Mass Effect, but you know. We both knew the cost not Mass of using the gates. <laughs> when you travel at light speed, oh, time slows to a crawl. Time gates. It was only days for me. But an entire lifetime passed for her. Damn. And in the chaos That's of those depressing. final moments, we never said goodbye. No, come with me! Wait! Please! Tom! I love you. Oh, those eyes aren't so AI, my friend. I played a game earlier today that's an AI, and now I'm an expert. <laughs> Seeds hope, breaks empires. We are the trap. This game looks sick. I'm interested for yeah. sure. I'd like to see gameplay, obviously. Yeah. But... Oh, maybe we get gameplay right here. It's looking more and more Mass Effect by the minute. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Caption on PS5 pre alpha. It looks pretty dope, man. I'm I'm definitely interested for yeah. sure. Big. I'm gonna write that down. Exodus. That is a very exciting project. Definitely interesting. Giving me some Mass Effect vibes, and I appreciate the team sharing the first glimpse of gameplay uh, at <laughs> the end. There looks great. All right. Well, now we're gonna go yeah, right on. I like the Muse track in there too. Another. Yeah, good, good music. Premiere. World premiere. Take a shot if you're doing this, but you can't blame me if you die. Yeah, legally not. <laughs> legally. <laughs> Looks oh good. yeah, I can I can post a list. I'll post a list that I made of all the games I'm interested in. I'll put it in. I'll put it on Twitter. Oh shit! Sure. Another guy. God of War. It's Kratos. You are certain you remember nothing of this place? DLC? It must be right. It can't be another game already. Gotta be. Yeah, gotta be a DLC. Master thyself. I was not expecting a DLC already. Tell me, no. Brother, why exactly are we doing this? I must face this. Ooh. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. Oh. 
a roguelite DLC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he died and came back, and they said do it again. No slam. God of War. Valhalla. There we go. Some kind of DLC. December. No way. Oh. Uh, what? Free. That's, in That's five my favorite days. price. Yeah. <laughs> That's in five days. I yeah. bet it is a ro I bet it is a roguelite uh, DLC. That makes me with less it interested free? in it. I feel There's like I feel nice like it is, especially with it being called Valhalla. I'll check it out though. Free, yeah. God of War, Ragnarok's I feel like it is. With elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, yep. unexpected, and go. fun new twist. There you go. And yes, yep. as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica yep. Studio are fans. Especially, of their fans especially with it being free DLC, DLC, right? It's like you can use Ragnarok weapons that already Valhalla exist. All uh, the enemies that already exist. Yeah. In just five days on December. But I 12th. want it now, Jeff. <laughs> no puzzles, more <laughs> fighting. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right, no puzzles in the roguelike. Our next world premiere comes from a small <laughs> wow, independent that's team crazy. of developers in Australia. I love that this show can Indie give a platform to independent Australia. creators. Their last Koala game in 2019 can, uh, was a tell us about this. That's right. Next we'll hear from Koala soon. Equally exciting and unexpected. <laughs> Untitled Goose Game Creators. <laughs> this time you're a bird. Man, they, they really nailed it. You're a <laughs> You're a cuckaburro. <laughs> oh, there they are. What? <laughs> oh, I see them. Oompa doompa. Let's go. This is fun. The characters are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Four player co op? This looks really fun. Play with your buds? This looks fun. <laughs> this is marathon, yeah. Big walk. Okay. I like that. Interested. 2025. Want to know more? Wow. Super fun. Right? We want to know more. Long War of the Emus the, the first day. <laughs> had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game. And I'm honored we Thanks, Call of Duty. Here at the show. Right, the while Emus. you're watching TGA, head to TGASteamDeck.com awesome. right now. We're doing another Steam Deck giveaway. This time it's the brand new one terabyte Go get Steam you a Deck. Steam yeah. Deck, yeah. gamers. They're giving away 100 of them, too. Enter now only during the live show at TGASteamDeck.com for a chance to win one of 100 OLEDs. All right, trust me, we are just getting there started, go. guys. There are so many game announcements, awards, and musical performances ahead, including the old gods of Asgard. Remember when Alan they used Wade to do this show on Spike TV? Just wait. Yeah. You had to watch we'll like commercials. Right <laughs> yeah. In between your commercials. <laughs> Get last show if there's commercials. Ooh, oh, Prince of Persia. Oh, I'm Prince excited. Persia remake. I'm excited for this one. The site's under maintenance. Well, you tried. Bring him back. Bring back my son. I'm really excited for Prince Persia. It's strange. It's a maze here, but I feel I've walked this path oh, before. Fabulous, even though it's not a world premiere. Right. Have you missed anything huge? There is a free DLC for God of War in five days. Yeah, the Exodus game big. I think was pretty cool. Exodus game does look very cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Sadly, not based off of uh, oh, still alive? Bob Marley classic. Hmm. <laughs> you see, I'm stronger, <laughs> but not strong enough to save a friend yet. Oh yeah, we had the first big award announced, which was the best performance. Enough? 
and clever enough to save your friend. Yeah, this is Prince of Persia. It's the uh, the remake, oh, yeah, not a the, remaster. Yeah, it's like a 2 d -er, though. It's like the first one, not the not like Sands of Time. Yeah. yeah. They show actual gameplay. You'll see yeah. that it looks really cool. <laughs> it does. Show, it does look cool. The re reboot. Oh, it's January 18th. Oh, that's oh. right around the corner too. Free demo January 11th. Ooh, got something to play in January. Is oh, hey, it's the Fortnite Lego. Fortnite Lego. <laughs> I, I played a bunch of this today. Is it Did fun? Did you? I've heard oh, yeah. it's very I good. I played like five hours of it. It was great. <laughs> the way you need it. One of my villagers is named Meowskulls. He's literally a swole cat. <laughs> <laughs> a biped swole cat. I love him. Oh, the game at the beginning that was panned or something? Let me see. Oh, the um, Pony Island 2 Panda Circus. Man, Fortnite looks, like, graphically a hell of a lot better than it used to. Like, it looks so good, dude. It, they really are making that game look nice. Yeah. There's a LEGO racing game coming out, too, right? Yep, LEGO racing, LEGO Minecraft, essentially, and a rhythm game. And, you know, What's Fortnite the LEGO gets Minecraft? a lot of... This one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is not a battle royale? No. No. It's a survival crafting game. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, the explosions are awesome. It looks great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check this out. Free? It's free. Yep. Is that the girl from the movie with the pink hair? This is, a, that's a Fortnite skin. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. right. Fortnite Your, skin. Some Fortnite skins work in Lego Fortnite. Oh, that's fun. Please welcome yeah. a former Game Award winner for best performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgen. Ooh, Hellblade Lady. <laughs> Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2. I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, oh. Hylum. Oh, snap! Music from the upcoming Hellblade game. Oh, that outfit, though. Right? I need that. We're going to buy get that. Some horns, huh? <laughs> <laughs> horns? I swear, you, we should all wear horns. Mm. Missing out on the horn look. That dude's playing a boat. <laughs> <laughs> This is cool. I just love the performance of it. I hope she doesn't drive in those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to deal with stage fright. Still right? see the crowd. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's very true. That's a great way to roast marshmallows. Color me impressed. <laughs> The horns. There's so many marshmallows on there. Kratos on the drums. Man, this music's so good. God, I can't wait for the second game. Yeah. Just an incredible experience of a game. They had a trailer for that last year at the Game Awards, right? They Was did, the yeah. Awards? With that, like, big giant? Yes. Big That's giant right, game. Yeah. yeah, this is a great performance.
God damn it, a package was delivered. Don't they know I'm busy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what game this is, but these graphics are amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> is this the new Fortnite concert? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do they take requests? I'll do Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> I've dreamt of this. Oh, here we go. Lots is missing it Place too. It's of bad. fear and fury. Do you hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. Man, huge graphical upgrade. Skin. Right. The first one looked good, though, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. I won't stop fighting for when they show her face, it almost looks like live action. Right? Until the very last beat. Fades away. God, it looks so good. It really Don't does. Look. Stunning. Ah. I'm, I'm impressed by the, the lighting. Yeah, it's great. You want the truth. All the lives inside me. Tell we me get a release date here, right, Shirley? Shirley. The shadow will always hang over me. Ooh. Look at those faces. Oh man, they're so good. Oh. <laughs> oh my god they're gonna it's gonna get delayed again just watch. at least we know we got less than a year well we, they've said 2024 for so long that i'm just like are we gonna get delayed and it's gonna be i hope not i'm excited right, give me the game look please. At the thank you and world of we'll make it perfect in 2024 <laughs> to Xbox take your time but give it to me now <laughs> <laughs> now to present our next award, please welcome a former Game Award winner nominated tonight for Best Fighting Game, the creative director of NetherRealm Studios, it's Ooh. Ed Boone! Ed Boone! Whoopsie! Ed Boone's here! Hope he's not doing Best Fighting Game and he's like, the winner is not Do a fatality! <laughs> Whoa, how about that? <laughs> the best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for Best Narrative Oh, it's a best, best drama, narrative. And their characters. Nice. Okay, good. And yes, also, Mortal Kombat won. Some weird stuff. <laughs> we can't here are the nominees. I voted for Final Fantasy 16 nice here just narrative. because, God, God, I cried so much through that game. That game was just, that game messed me up. I'm sure Baldur's Gate wins here. Attention, all personnel. Yeah, some strong contenders. I feel like. No kidding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to the truth that awaits me. On. He's here on some kind of hunt. He's not himself. You want to join us. Well, I cried in the demo of it. I mean, come on. <laughs> and the award goes to Alan Wake 2. Really? Wow. Oh. Okay. Look at that <laughs> suit. <laughs> Damn. We're all just like, oh, that's not what I expected. I didn't get to play Alan Wake 2 because I was in Japan, so. Maybe it's the best narrative game ever. Is that Max Payne? Ah, thank you so much. It looks like him. Um, 
Alan Wake 2, from the beginning, was a very story-focused project. For it us. is Wordsmith. I share this with the whole narrative team, the writers, <laughs> uh, Clay, <laughs> Tyler, Sinica, narrative designers who made the story into gameplay. Simone, you still got the same Molly, haircut. The whole narrative team. Got to, got to keep it. Working with actors. Mm. On an icon. Uh, Hannah, Rosie. You never throw away Molly, that suit either. Uh, <laughs> all the wonderful actors <laughs> here tonight. He's some the face of them, model, Melanie, yeah. Uh, Ilka, uh, uh, Matt, and David. But the whole whole cast, wonderful actors, and and the song makers who made custom music, custom songs to extend the story. Here tonight, later, Poets of the Fallen, Old Gods of Asgard, Poe, uh, this road, every song maker coming through fright music uh, for our chapter songs. Right, Thank you. In a hurry uh, with that music. No, <laughs> yeah, they, to push things further, to do something. They got new, a lot of trailers to show tonight. A risk <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Embrace it and understand. This it. is your moment. So your moment's <laughs> over. <laughs> we didn't say minute. Oh, <laughs> it's a moment. <laughs> Liana spotted. Liana spotted. Let's go. Okay, I get the gift card. Who's giving it to me? <laughs> アーティストとして私たちは想像力を駆使して目に見えないものを見ることができます。私たちはオーダーです。私たちはアーティスト。私たちはデザイナー。This is her new studio. I bet. Oh my god, what's the name? Nakamura-san. This is her it's called Unseen. Yeah. Her new studio. You may have recognized that Ooh. incredible creator who built her own independent studio is in Tokyo. Doing the, uh, she wanted to show you what she's been working on before she's even them. signed it with a publisher oh, really? or a platform. I said, come to this show. Just show it to the audience and the fans first. So that's what we're going to do. We're honored to have her back at the Game Awards. Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. Uh, if you guys don't know, she got super famous when she was introducing a game and she went, it's spooky. Yeah, what was, it? was, it, was it Tokyo she Ghost or something? Really what was it? Game I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember either. Hi, Kumi Nakamura desu. Konnichiwa. I'm super excited to be on this stage. Ghostwire Tokyo. Again. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, first, My brain I love her died. energy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's I awesome. I want to say thank you to the Anshin artist, Miteru. <laughs> and you, thank you, 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 all of you. <laughs> Your support. Yeah, she's great. She's a, a really awesome person. <laughs> Today, I am honored to introduce our first project, Kemuri. It's time to see the unseen. Meet it! Bye-bye! <laughs> She's great. She's great. And not very common for a woman to be the head of a studio in Japan, so... No? It's pretty exciting. No, not at all. No gameplay, so that's a ways off. It's very early, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So many incredible projects tonight. Thank you, Akumi. Now, tonight, yeah. it's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big established franchises. And while we all love a big sequel, it's important to use a place like TGA to introduce you to brand new worlds, like what you just saw with Kamuri and like this project. I'm going to tell her her game looks great from what I've seen. Nice. <laughs> Private division. My sister true. Pirate game. She loves like new. My sister. 
this? Yeah, this is before she even has found a publisher, so it's super early. Boats. God, video Church. games look so good now. Dude, I right? know, I know. And the style that people are doing too. I'm glad oh, they're not yeah. all just going for realism. Yeah, yeah. Because this style is cool. Whatever this is, I'm digging it. I feel like the next generation is finally capping Like the PS5 and the Xbox Series generation is finally like. Okay, now Creators we're starting to see it. Creators of Ori. Creators of Ori. Ori does some good games, let me tell you. Well, the Moon Studios. <laughs> I'm digging the ambiance here. Dude, yeah. they're, they make such good looking games. Will of the Wisps, still like one of the best. Like, I got a new TV, I gotta check out this badass. Yeah, TV. we did the same thing. One of the thing. best. <laughs> we did the exact same thing. Ooh. I'm all in on this. And our prayers came back like Tell me it's coming out tomorrow. Not like to play it. Answered, but not quite the same. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Nice. Adding it to that. the list. March 1st. Oh, oh. Learn more March 1st. Okay. Learn more March 1st or is it coming out March That's 1st? That's no rest for the Wicked in Action RPG from more. Moon Studios. And more information is coming March 1st as you incredible. saw the ah! Wicked Inside Showcase. Tonight during the Game Awards, that viewers looks incredible. in the U.S. can enter to win one of 100 Lenovo Legion incredible. Go gaming handouts. Yeah, I'm with the external member. I totally watched a movie hand. made out of that. To TGA <laughs> That's right. Before They're the very the show talented. To enter for your chance to win. Here's a look at the Legion Go in action. When is uh, Arcane Season 2 coming? I feel like it's been uh, forever. Next December. I still got a whole year? Mm-hmm. Watch. Yep. Do better. <laughs> I don't work here, Ryan, <laughs> video games. I do play the game, so yeah, you know, you're right. You really feel. That's true. Maybe if you bought a couple more microtransactions, I could have had. <laughs> you don't want me to buy any more skins. But there's still so much more to discover. I spent a lot of money in the in the earlier days, probably like year three or so, when I didn't really know which playstyle I liked. So if there was a skin that I liked that came out, I just bought it because I was like, yeah. maybe I'll like this champion. Who knows? That's what I do with Street Fighter. I just buy them all, even though I have I no intention of playing the character. I have that same problem with games like Apex and stuff. It's like, oh, that skin's amazing. I never played that character, but maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe I will. There'll be some update that makes them exactly perfect for me. Is a chance to feel something. Arcane is that's so far away that by the time it comes out, I'm gonna have to watch season one again, just so I remember everything that happened, which not, is actually it's a not benefit. Super long, right? So you could watch know, yeah, six to eight episodes. Probably... That'll probably be perfect timing for me to rewatch the first season with my son. He'll probably be old enough yeah. by that point. Yeah. Have any of you guys checked out the Avatar game? Uh, I watched I the yet. Digital Foundry video about it, and they were very impressed. I, I signed up for the Ubisoft subscription thing, because it's like 15 bucks for a month. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I download it. I'll probably give it a try Did tomorrow. It looks really I played nice. the day before today. <laughs> Don't play the day before. This is your public service announcement to not buy the day before. <laughs> Why is it that? Is, it's very bad. It's oh, dead. no. Probably the worst game I've ever played. Oh, no. <laughs> that's uh, that's damning. <laughs> well, the so worst it's game I've ever played. It's in early access Avatar, for 40 bucks. Uh, there's not even a melee button. Doesn't exist. Um, what's, the, what's second on that list? The worst game you ever played. What, what did it take that spot hold on, hold on, hold on. from? I don't know. It's, there's not a lot of games that I jump into that I'm like not expecting to at least either be my thing or just a good game. Uh -huh. um, but this one is just to, even the most basic of games have a melee button. Yeah, that's a weird admission. Um, it also said that uh, it was an MMO open world game. It is not. It is an extraction shooter. 
Oh, really? Yeah. We have Which been saying it all night, but it but really has been an outstanding get ready for marathon. The first to send it. Now to talk about some <laughs> Listen, of the biggest I always games. The it's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets. You're right. That's right. You're right. The great Gonzo. Oh, Gonzo. Hey, Muppets are here. Hey, Jeff. It's great to be here. Hello, everybody. Hey, buddy. Thanks for uh, coming. I Looks like you're kind of wearing what I'm wearing. Yeah. It's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I really, well, don't, I really think... don't think. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have what, have what have you been playing? Seriously, what have you been playing? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Gonzo's, Gonzo's buying, buying everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait a minute. Uh... All right, that was a good one. <laughs> you got me. Well played, Jeff. Yeah, well, thank you. Seriously, though, what have you been playing, Gonzo? Well, <laughs> lots and lots of Tears of the Kingdom. What an incredible game. You know that one mission where you follow the cuckoo up a hill? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> That's right, you do love your chicken. So I guess that was your favorite part. What did you think of the ending? Oh, I never get past that cuckoo mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, any other great gaming highlights this year for you, Gonzo? Are you kidding? Actually, if you have the time... Hey, you, you guys got a minute? <laughs> I'd like to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one central theme. Check this out. <laughs> got the case for it? Yeah, Stick that's the egg. conspiracy you uncovered. I know, I know. You probably think I'm a... There's a chocobo in there. I no. can't no. appreciate video games beyond this one very specific interest. I mean, yeah, I think we're all thinking that. Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Zelda? <laughs> yes! Let's do this IRL! <laughs> Come on! Unbelievable. All right, here are the nominees for Best Debut I'm just Indie Game. <laughs> that was weird. Best Debut, best debut indie, game. indie Game. Yeah. <laughs> think about it for Dredge here. Oh, Arc 8 just replied to me. So the jacket that Nakamura was wearing on stage is made by Arc 8. Okay. Yeah, it was cool. I feel as yeah. Free as a yeah. <laughs> All right, the great Gonzo. Thank you, Gonzo. And now to the task at hand. The game award goes to Cocoon. Dredge. Cocoon. Could, cocoon deserved, deserved, deserved. I didn't play it, but I heard. I, I, I watched a couple of people play it, and I heard nothing but amazing things. So. Yeah. Who am I to say no? I bet even getting nominated for this award must sell a lot of copies of the game, right? Just oh yeah, a lot of eyes on it. Who might not have seen it. Definitely. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, hey, I couldn't finish Dredge because it was too scary. Those water you the play was angry. Music, <laughs> yeah, right away. <laughs> Thank you for... Oh, well, um... Voted for Cocoon. Bye. <laughs> and Yeppi, Matt, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric. I'm Thank happy you so for much them. for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be... They were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. I love indie developers winning. Makes hey, me very happy. We'll announce the best mobile game of 2023, but which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024? Google Play will be zero the zero most games. I care. <laughs> more award on Twitch. So head on over to Twitch to lock your vote. Most anticipated and now mobile it's time game for our next world premiere. World premiere. World premiere. Yo, yo. Wow, these graphics are so good. <laughs> Wait, was that Sega in the background? Thought I saw a Sega logo. The Genesis? <laughs> that's the Sonic uh, yeah. sound. That's their Sonic sounds for yeah. sure. I was not tripping.
Hypnotic Isekai. Yeah, yeah. It's a Sega <laughs> verse. Did you say Sega Look at the Golden Axe's really? dwarf's helmet, and then the uh, yeah, the one of the guys treats a rage's um, gloves. The Sega fighting game. Oh, like a mashup <laughs> like fighting Mario's game like, from Sega. Don't do it to me. Oh, there's Shinobi. Shinobi, yep. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh. Damn, this looks great. Oh, what's this? The style is dope. Is that a new Shinobi game? Ooh. Oh fuck yeah, new Gold Dax game. Okay, they're announcing like all of their games. Crazy Taxi? Oh yeah. Oh my god, I'm buying all of these games. Oh my <laughs> god. Jesus. Now into I can't It's even, like they I just reached even... into my childhood and pulled it out. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now typically a world premiere reveals one They're game making every game. to announce five <laughs> new games in one trailer. So many memories five for all of us. New all games. those are First of the many brand new games in development and set for release over the next several years. Wow. Thanks to wow. Sega for that truly. I still have my copy of Jet Set Radio on the All Dreamcast. Right, well, this next trailer might I still be have my Sega Dragon Genesis. Ball so fans <laughs> nice. Oh my games. Yeah. Nice. For a while. Here we go. Yeah. Do we get a date for this? What's this? Um, I think it. Budokai? I can't remember the name of anything. Do we already have a date? Is this the know. fighting game that's not fighters? With a Z? Yes. <laughs> not me. Tremble before my power. <laughs> I'll show you the horror. I gotta work that into conversation more often. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go over to the Sega webpage and like look at all those games. I hope they yeah. have like longer versions of those to my trailers. List. I'm just gonna add the list of all Sega. All games. Sega. <laughs> all Sega games. They look good too. Like they didn't show much of them, obviously. They looked, yeah, they looked very good. Shinobi being a 2D action platformer. Cool. And then Golden Axe was like a 3D game. Yeah. And then they just came out with a Streets of Rage game a few years ago, and they're coming out with a double one already. Did. It's too dangerous. Supermassive. What's supermassive? From the world of Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight single player game? Question mark? Telling myself I won't go there. They should add Power Stone to that list, though. That would be. <laughs> Don't go in there. It's a bad idea. Yeah, don't go in spooky tunnels, man. I don't recommend it. There's darkness in the distance from the way that I've been living. Oh, Sega popped off. Yeah, they did. Sega said, here's five games. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good song when your game is called Death by Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the casting of Frank Stone. Cinematic horror. A cinematic horror, horror, experience. horror experience. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's right. Two huge names in the horror genre, Dead by Daylight and Supermassive Games, are coming together for a brand new single player experience. I like when they do like different genres Stone. inside the same like, world. We're showing you lots of new uh, yeah. I think that's now fun. It's time to I think it's fun to too. Yeah. We haven't seen in quite some time. Return to a world. A world we haven't seen in quite some time. Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't know right now. Tales of something. 
Oh, we saw a, we saw a tail. We had a tails game recently. Am I just not familiar? Or am I dumb um, forgetting? It's probably the latter. <laughs> she looks like um the girl from Witch from Mercury. It's a Gundam game, actually. Oh. <gasps> Square Enix. Could this be um I can't can't think of the name of it, to be honest with you. <laughs> The old SNES game. What was it called? It's a green it cover. Secret of Mana? Mana? Yeah, Mana, Mana. I was going to say Mana. There it is. Secrets of Mana. Oh. Yeah, because they a just Mana released... Adventure. They released the prequel to that for the first time in the U.S. last year. It must have been in preparation for this. Cool. Very pretty. Vision. Visions of mana. Hell yeah. Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Coming to everything. PlayStation Studios. Koei Tecmo. Is this Rise of the Ronin? Moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. He could be a Ronin. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. Chop chop. Team Ninja. It's gotta sure. be Rise of the Ronin. They're, they can't be making more than one game at one time. Maybe they are. They're crazy. It's possible. <laughs> when did their last game come out? Was that last year or this year? This year. It was this year? Their final DLC is coming out um in a few days. This is definitely Rise of the Ronin. If the drum drives the rhythm. It's their first open world game. This looks Team Ninja as fuck. <laughs> it does, yeah, it's very Team Ninja. Let's do this together. We get a release date. I mean, Wo Long DLC is uh, that's ending in a couple days. Man. Must you move? Be good time. To, I'm gonna bet March next year. Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. As the smoke rises, so shall we. And you get to have, uh, you get to stab people with a bayonet. That's fun. It's always a good time. <laughs> Rise of the Rodin. Released it? Will sacrifice their it's coming. For duty. So we shall be I want that mask. Wow. Right around the corner. I told you it was March. I told you. That's the same day as Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> That's Rise of the Ronin coming to PlayStation well, in 2024. Now it is time to announce winners a choice in a make. number of They other always categories. release their games Here in March. Like, best all the time. Game. Everything's Armor in March. Core six, fires of Ooh, Ooh. Remnant two. two, come on, Remnant baby. two, yeah, it's Remnant gotta be. Two. Remnant two. I mean, two. all this category is pretty stacked, but yeah, but Remnant two. Remnant two stole my heart. Armored Core six, wow. fires of Rubicon. Okay. Congratulations, Frog. I'm happy with Armored Core. Armored Core is incredible. Oh, we're just gonna rapid fire some of these, huh? Oh, okay. I Lies of P. Come on. Mario Brothers Wonder and Lies of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the game award goes to Alan Wake 2. Congrats, Remedy. Bye. Here are the nominees for VR <laughs> AR. Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, Horizon Call of the Mountain, Horizon Evil Call of the Mountain, Village, VR cool. Mode, and Synapse. And the game award goes to Resident Evil Village VR Mode. Congratulations to Capcom. Now your nominees for best mobile game. Final Fantasy 7, Ever Crisis. Honkai There's Star a Monster Ram. Hunter mobile oh, game? Yes. Monster yes, there Hunter is. Now. Is it any good? Have you tried it? I haven't. I've heard mixed things. Like, generally, it's good, but the it's very grindy. and Seems like a dangerous thing to have on your phone. All right, we have much yes. more Game Awards to <laughs> yes. come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from I was, Alan Wake 2. That's and one of my, uh, one of the things that I wanted to see was a Rise of the Ronin release date. Right now, we'd like you to meet one of tonight's nominees. That was one of them. Best debut indie game. That was one in um, Elden Ring DLC was definitely Olds. the highest up there for me. 
We haven't had best community support yet. My name is Abi. In <laughs> but we did get a Rise of the Road and release date. I had a very early interest in games. No one can compete with Team Ninja for me, so it's actually pretty. It was a whole new world. Oh my God, I could play Dragon's Dog my Food is not just a thing to cook, but also a way of expressing affection. This is making me hungry. Right? Best action was Armored Core. That tells the story of an Indian mother who moves to Canada in the late 1980s. It's a story about love, loss, and family. The more local you are, the more international you become. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into it in ways that I wouldn't have expected. AMD and Steam Deck. Don't forget to enter to win that Steam Deck, everybody. 100, 100 of them they're giving away. That's the new true. OLED ones, too. What? I got, what is it? A terabyte? It's like the big bad boy. The $600 one. Yeah. New OLED. Might as well try. Right? Probably better chances than win, winning the lotto. <laughs> we want you. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> I can save someone with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. This is the song I stole from your ad the other day. What the? The website's still in maintenance, but now it says I have a three hour queue. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Good luck. Oh yeah, the one before. <laughs> this one. Did, 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 did. <laughs> These clips are great. <laughs> 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 I like the hands up. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> the Outlast Trials, March 5th. We'll not be playing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do a DCP playthrough of a. Uh, oh, God. Something very scary. I had to stop playing the first one because it was like making my heart race. <laughs> oh, well, we don't want that. That's a little too much. Oh, don't smoke. There will be a dragon that eats you. Okay, welcome back to the Game Awards. <laughs> Good to know. Are you but a dragon is so cool. Smoking is so cool. World premiere from one of our industry's greatest creators. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since oh. the very beginning back in 2014. Hideo Kojima. And tonight, it's gotta be I am Kojima, right? so, so honored to share this latest update Look at him. He's so in love. It's Kojima. Yeah. You see the love in his yeah. eyes? A little extra <laughs> sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves him so much. It's definitely Kojima. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um. <laughs> when a man talks about you like that, that's when you know you gotta get him. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, that would be me. Don't make me remember the lines. Don't make me do it. I'm dead. I was afraid he was going to make another weird video game. Thank God not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> dinosaurs ate kind of fox. That dude's in movies. They're, they have, they got famous people in this game. Famous. This is probably not scary or unnerving. Looks pretty wholesome. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> OD. OD. He's making Death Stranding 2 and this game? They're making a Death Stranding 2? Yeah. For all players and screamers. Xbox Game Studios. Well, okay. All righty. 
making it scary. I don't have a clue what that is. <laughs> no, no idea. Oh. BT2. He's also making that game. Hey, Please it's Coach Dave. I recognize that the head shape anyway. <laughs> I knew him from the shoes. <laughs> what is going on on his chest? What is that thing? That's his logo, but... No, oh, I mean the, the brooch. Out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's his logo? Yep. Wow. I don't know. The I think he's a sheriff. Welcome, Mr. Kajima Hori. Back to the Game Awards. <laughs> uh, thank nice you, shoes. Nice shoes. This is the 10th anniversary of the TGA of the game, OD. え、発表できて非常に嬉しいです。え、このゲームには、え、It's pretty cool what they did with the set. It is very cool. Only the best for Kojima. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad to be at the 10th uh, uh, Game Awards. Really happy to show the new title OD and this title will feature uh main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer and Udo Kier. Uh, I think we all want to know more of course. What kind of game are you That's making? That's the Mr. one Kijin? thing I got from the trailer you just showed. So the people in it. Eh, zanshinなことを日朝戦することを非常に大好きなんですけども、え、まあ、あの、Xbox ゲームっていうのを今作ってます。あの、言葉で説明はしにくいんですけども、え、言葉で説明はしにくいんですけども、ある種、え、新しい、で、アルビーネーヴスビーイングアトランスレーターツー。アルビーネーヴスビーイング
Well, Jordan is he one wrote of it those into English? Genius, question and mark? I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we both like, and we're really happy. And we wanted to collaborate something. And and this time, um, well, Jordan, <laughs> I, I grew up watching <laughs> movies, and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games, and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will be really awesome. So that's why I wanted to do something together with Jordan. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Yes. あの、ま、このプロジェクトは、え、ジョーダンだけではなくて、ま、多くのえ、クリエイティブサポーターとか、あの、ま、あの人たちと、え、も参加が予定されてます。え、で、あの、ま、あの、人たちと、え、ま、
Here are the nominees. Best audio design. I can't remember who was, uh, I can't remember who was up for this. Alan Wake going for the hat trick. Ooh, mm. Dead Space. I think he did Dead Space? I don't remember who else was in here. <laughs> I think I did Dead Space. And I bet Alan Wake's gonna win to... again. High fire rush. Nice. High five. Good for them. Yeah. They deserve that. I mean, Especially the way they like they integrated it into the gameplay. Yeah, I mean the whole game is the audio, right? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that checks out. That checks out. Uh, thank you so much. What's he got in his jacket? What's he pulling out? Security! I'm going to be able to support you as a team. I'm going to be able to support you as a team. I'm going to be able to support you as a team. I'm going to be able to support you as a team. Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. <laughs> so really it's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And from myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone to Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft. Always thank and, the pets. Uh, all pets the players mentioned. Out there, we like this game. <laughs> um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. Good for them. I'm not mad at that at all. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, check out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated Fortnite with new trophies code. tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, Fortnite? though, the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Here's your first look. That looks pretty cool. Rocket racing. Rocket racing. I'll be right back. It looks like that Hot Wheels racing game that came out. Kind of does, yeah. Solid presentation, I'll give them that. Wait, 12, 8, 23. That's tomorrow. Wait, isn't that like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't show any gameplay and it's coming out tomorrow. Yearn to ascend, yet fame Ooh, what's this? still holds sway. More horns. Their glory fades through time. Game science. More good, of course. Yeah, I'm with you, Animal. That does sound fun. Always suffering, and why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only oh. evil. This is the journey to the West game. It's Woo Cold with blood and grow lotuses in release date um i'm gonna guess september something i'm gonna guess february 
I'd be down for January. I, the keeper of the Wukong. New Welcome, the destined one. The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they this got a demo, didn't it? No. No, it was just the gameplay that they showed. They, they showed it at um, Gamescom. So Russ was able to play it at Gamescom. Oh, okay. Midnight tonight. I will stay up. Big bear boy. This looks a lot better than the gameplay they showed. I thought the gameplay was cool. Wow. Damn. We gotta get a release date here, I think. Yeah, this is very good looking. It looks great. It's got like the epicness of like the old God of War games. There you know, where you just like fight these huge things. Yeah. Black oh, Myth sweet Wukong. Black Myth Wukong. August. Okay. It's a summer game. August. Nice. Oh, it's the year of the souls like again, baby. Batman. <laughs> Green Lantern. The Flash. Superman. Your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. I was going to say, isn't that Sabathun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sabathun. Oh, this is sad. We'll burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? What is this one called? It's uh, we have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Not birds of prey. The Justice League no. one. You think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? They did like two movies, both with Margo. Margo. Can't remember her last name. Robbie. Robbie, thank you. He's the fastest man alive, according to all these girlfriends. <laughs> sunshine. Sunshine. In the stars. So, what's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. Suicide Squad, thanks Lux. Yeah, this one had that gameplay demo that dropped and people were not enthusiastic. And Megan from so they Digital delayed it. Streams up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. Uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch. What? She's got like claws. Look at those things. <laughs> yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Hell Warframe. Yeah. So, you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a senior's discount of some time just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah, we Keeps have... It's going strong. I know. It's because our community is so awesome and we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for, you know, Warframe players around the world to watch. Nice. It's quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys, let's take a look. For generations you've slept. Warframe's the game I would have no gotten place. into if I wasn't into Destiny. No yeah, I just didn't have time for both, <laughs> you know. Right, right. That's a cool game, though. You have changed everything. They've done so much with it. Yeah, I jumped in and played it for a little while when they had that DLC that was like the the snowy environment. I don't, I forget the, uh, the name of it. Yeah. Was it like when they added the open world stuff? To it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't start strong, Semnus, because like all the best stuff is kind of like you got to get to it. Yeah. 
This is probably exciting if you play Warframe, I'm sure. There's a train! It looks great. December 13th. 15. Oh, that's soon. There is so much more Game Awards ahead. Yeah, it looks awesome. The surprises were done. Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to supergameawards.com. Lots December coming. December 31st, lots for a chance to win a is at least to the brand new five. Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios. That's not Hollywood. lots. Lots is Here's at least <laughs> eight. <laughs> five is like some. Okay. <laughs> We got we have a couple which is two, a few which is yeah. three. Yeah. Some is five. For a new way to Some play? is five. Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. Lots. <laughs> five is a few. No, a few is three. <laughs> <laughs> Super Nintendo World. Now I went on that ride in Japan. Studios, yeah. Went Super Nintendo World. Um, it's not great. <laughs> the, the world of Super Nintendo World is really cool. Uh, and like the metagame stuff where you get a bracelet and you hit the boxes. Like that's cool. But the actual rides the old, are. The maybe? Ooh, I'm sorry, maybe. I didn't mean to cut you off. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the actual rides are very like teacups, uh, kid roller coasters. Yeah, Nintendo's for kids. That's fair, yeah, it's great right? for kids. <laughs> great for kids. Is this just a Starfield ad? Might just be. Nothing here is new. They do have DLC coming though, right? Yeah. Those are big numbers. Those are big numbers. Oh, it's just Starfield saying, you guys are cool. That's nice. I like that. That's wholesome. Life to the living, death to the oh, dead. Oh, this is we the game the where the you're fighting with living. your dead wife or something, and you're fighting ghosts, something like that. And the <laughs> something like that. To if I got a stand, I've been sitting all day. Yeah. yeah, I keep trying to go up and down because my back's been angry at me. Broken. Yeah, I get that too. Stupid human bodies. I know, freaking A. Life <laughs> to the living. It's like the reverse rapture. That's a lot of dead bodies. Keep throwing them back. Life to the living, death to the dead. Honoring my oath or sacrificing the living to bring me back. I'm not sure I can do this. Honor your oath or bring me back. No, you're fighting with your wife, not like... <laughs> fighting your wife. <laughs> not even the sweet release of death. <laughs> Can't keep you from fighting with your wife. <laughs> this looks cool. I'm down to try this out. Banishers. February 13th. Oh, she. Wait, what was the name of that game? I forgot already. Banishers. Banishers. <laughs> Thank you. You ready? Suspect down. Right is down. We gotta get you up. Look out! Ready? Officer is down. We need backup. Let's go! Get back! We can still make it out of this. Thank you. Banishers of you. Ooh. So sad. Put that on the list. So, are you ready? Is it ready or not? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, ready or not? What do you say? I've or been playing that in? for well over um, a year now. Oh, official release. Yes. Version 1.0. Nice. That's soon, too. December 13th. Very soon. Age of Empires, Call of Duty, Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which That's title you want to Wait, win. Wait, I already did Google that. Play's own Play More <laughs> Award. 
Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director, Caroline Marshall. Games for Impact are always, always nice. Bonsoir, everyone. Winning last year was oh, so definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. Glad I don't have the any games pants, nominated this year pocket. offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Legend says a traveler will reunite the peoples. What's the I didn't play any of these. To um, make an impact. goes to Chia. Heard good things about Chia. Yeah. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> Fran? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one is Fran this time. This is Fran. Thank you. I accept this award on behalf of uh, Develop Ourselves, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crifo co-founder of ourselves. I'd like to thank ourselves for actually down to play Chia. It looks pretty cool. You can turn into like any animal and yeah. fly yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. And Sony pretty cool. for believing in this crazy project. And the entire population <laughs> of New Caledonia who championed and embraced Chia all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. That's some drip. Yeah. I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. But, but, but that is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger. So you go for the eight-minute record? I was like, Oh, this is so cute. Look, I've, I've loved games all my I'm life. I'm old, I find everything uh, cute. I, I mean, I played them all my <laughs> life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> Gary's Mod, Golden Sun. And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back, and I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him an ode to the people we have loved and lost. <laughs> so, so the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. No, I'm gonna offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. Every story begins at the end of another. EA Originals pick up good ass games. I'm excited. They do. My Baba. My With support father. from Critical Role. Your story <laughs> was snatched away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return.
Ooh. I'm in. Sold. Yeah. <laughs> This looks it good. looks good too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, he's kind of got like a guacamole thing going on. Kalunga, I like looks it. very good. Hear my plea, Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Show me you are ready. Tales of Kenzetta, April. Not awesome. not long. Yeah. Tales of I'm Africa. way into that. Yep. Going on the list. The life of life, life is strange, creators. I get to be a teenager again. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't wanna. Okay, that didn't happen when I was a teenager. It's been 27 <laughs> years, y'all. Why now? Because we made a promise. Interesting. That team makes that was very good games. Yeah, the time jump got me more interested. Playing as teenager is yeah. not interesting now to we me. Have a game, <laughs> game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. The first Berserker. Hardcore action. Hardcore. Sorry if my mic picks up my wife gaming. Good. That's fine. That <laughs> good. Finally, I found you. Hey, Nexon, the guys behind Dave the Diver. Trapped. Yeah. <laughs> this is another indie game? This <laughs> is an indie game. <laughs> <laughs> One of their indie, indie studios. From your king. You thought you were a hero. You are berserking down the river. Style looks cool. Mm -hmm. I'm loving all the stylized stuff. You are just yeah. One of us. Ooh, dude, the style is cool. Like the little cell shaded. Ordinary ghost. I like it a lot. You have uh, to yeah. Sign me up. Life. I'm in. What do I need to do? <laughs> I bet they mean, mean hardcore action, they mean that it's difficult. Mm. I bet that's what they mean. They normally do that a lot. Like, they won't be like, oh, it's a Souls-like or something. There's be like right, hardcore, right. hardcore action. That looks cool. The first no Berserker date? Kazan. Looks good, all right, all right. Now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one, though, is a little bit of a Woo! twist. They're about to play music from music. an upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it Upcoming one of the premieres, and this is oh. a special one. It's written by one of the it's gonna be Monster Hunter main theme of all time, the legendary Nobuo Oops. Kamatsu. Here is the Game Awards oh, Orchestra led by Lauren Dahl, the vocals from Lauren Allred. So is this Final Fantasy VII Rebirth from music? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Enjoy. When's Rebirth come out? Ooh. Is that February? It is February. <laughs> More dancing cloud, please. Okay. More dancing cloud, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just know 
Nobuo, all right? He's a legend. I'm ready to put 100 hours in this game. I'm ready 30. <laughs> Best I can do, 34. <laughs> I'm going to the Distant Worlds concert in January, which is, if people don't know, Distant Worlds is where they play Final Fantasy music. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the Seattle uh, Orchestra. Oh, that's cool. And you'll get, like, the singers will be there sometimes. Nobuo himself was there at one point, which is cool. She is a very good singer. <laughs> Maybe she'll be at the Seattle one. Never know. Wow. Is that Fran on the violin? Wow. <laughs> Wow, oh, he's on like a guitar in the back, right? <laughs> <Damn. laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. Immaculate. Yay. That dress, too. Oh, that's a good job. Oh, there's Ben. <laughs> Spotlight on Clive <laughs> Rossfield. <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year flashbang. He did. Like, what are we doing? I know I'm in Final Fantasy, right. Jesus. <laughs> Final Fantasy fan. Oh, oh, we or so they'll tell you, Didi, because the future has the power to change anything, even the past. Strap in, Newty. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Oh, my God, it's Horizon and Apex. Apex Final Fantasy crossover. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody was I, after. I did not expect that. Oh my god. Huh. That's wow. very fun okay. when limits are made that. to be That's broken. Cool. When Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible announcement. Now it's time to announce wow. the winners of a few more awards as That's selected cool. by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of best score and music, the nominees are mm. Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, I did Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 16, yes. Hi-Fi Rush, Come on. Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. It's Final Fantasy And the music. Game Award goes to there Final you go. Fantasy 16. Boom. So Yay! Congratulations. Final, Final Fantasy for mentioned. Independent Final game. Fantasy 16. Dave the Diver. I want to see Dave the Diver it. win just so the internet Finder. explodes on itself. And the game <laughs> goes to Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Oh, nice. Here are the yeah. nominees for best community support. <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3. Dodge. Oh, here we go. Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Do Man's it. Sky. Do it. Do and it. The game award goes to... <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3 got it. Oh, right. Baldur's Gate 3 got it. Nominees oh, there goes my video game. idea for tomorrow. <laughs> Street Fighter 6, surely. All Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. And the game award this year goes to Street Fighter 6. Congrats, Capcom. All right. Most anticipated game. Your nominees this year were Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I did Please vote for Rebirth. 
Like Mad that you. Wait, no, maybe I voted for Hades 2, actually. And Tekken 8. I don't remember. And the Game Awards Star Wars Outlaws. To Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. That makes sense, though. Congratulations, <laughs> Square and Mercer. That checks out. All right, yeah. that makes sense. It's been eight months since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. This space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penokane, the next destination. Oh, never mind. Next destination in Honkai Dear Star Rail. Right. remember it. <laughs> Fables about the stars. <laughs> its stories tell of what is and what was. Its pages will always reveal something new. So many of these games look exactly the same. <laughs> it's because it's made by the same people. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unforgettable memories, but they are only a beginning. It won't all be merrymaking. Mm -hmm. Suffering mm -hmm. and joy will both be added to the final draft of the story. One of these pages, I'll appear in your story too. Welcome to Penacone, young lady. May I ask your name? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. Dude, I want, I want a thing after my name, you know? Like Galaxy Ranger? Right. Miss 5000 Watts, Galaxy Ranger. They have a special in-game event Destiny going on right Daddy. now. <laughs> new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join. Monster the hunt. Hunter mentioned, gamers. This iPhone might be it. Oh, sad about it. it. Monster Hunter now. Coming up, we've got an exclusive new look at the new. Speaking Fallout of Monster series. Hunter, no. We'll right okay. Back. Mm, dang. <laughs> Eater of Briar. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to try out Rocket Racing. That does look fun. Rocket League was great. A racing game with that kind of arcadey feel. That could be a I'm lot of fun. I'm down to try the, uh, the rhythm game. Yeah. I'll try Lego Fortnite, too. Why not? You liked it? Yeah. I think yeah. it's, I, I it's going to be a pretty banging survival game, honestly. Yeah. Lots of people are really loving it. Yeah. I have a couple of moderate complaints, but it's kind of nitpicky. Good music. They are trying to be Ready Player One, yeah. Fortnite got it all. There's no stopping them. They are the metaverse. Yep. They got the cash. <laughs> they just did layoffs, though. Probably. They did a lot of layoffs. They you know? did, that's true, but did we I, I don't know if it's true. I heard it wasn't um it wasn't like performance related, right? I don't uh, I don't know. And yep. Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. Okay, this game is not coming out. Let's no be way. So February. I don't believe you. <laughs> You're delay the game for like ten years and then announce it like for the busiest time. Uh, oh yeah, February is a little packed already. No, why three players? It's not four. It's not four. My core group is four. Can't do it. Someone gets kicked out. Or you split into two teams of two. Team of a good sea shanty. <laughs> right. <laughs> This looks sick. It's a good trailer. <laughs> it is a good yeah, trailer. No it's a very good trailer. 
Oh, that's cool. That's a cool shot. Yeah, that's very cool. Ooh. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you right, sure about that release date? <laughs> I've heard this a few times. A look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is I wish them out nothing but the best. February Hopefully 16. they can get it done. I'm happy to announce that yeah. players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. Oh. And now it's time oh, to announce the next game Wowie. from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Oh, I have no idea. Bethesda. Dishonored and Deathloop. So, arcane. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Relax, man. I don't bite. <sighs> Lock up tight now. Is Blade? He's a vampire. Saw them teeth. Just getting started. Yeah, is it Blade? Fuck <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I was like, there yeah, it kind of looks Joining like a little bit like Blade. Up a combo from Arcane Leone and Bill Rosman <laughs> wow. from Marvel to tell us how okay. to come together, guys. Well, Jeff, let me tell you, the secret superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcade and Leon, not only because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic passion. And that's I'm in. why, on Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce this true 50th. Marvel team-up. Wow. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when <laughs> Sebastian Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero. No, that we Arcane both didn't do Redfall. And we ate it up. Did they? they did. I mean, the Arcane touched it wasn't Blade this video, like his trademark trench coat. And oh, it was right. Arcane, but not this one. A mature Is that right? I might be wrong. Adventure game, it did. It was definitely Arcane. Where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, it's a dream come true. I think Very it's a different branch. More. Yeah. I think okay. of why this character? Well, Unless they just didn't want to mention Kraid is yeah. also uh, Redfall. Is half <laughs> half <laughs> vampire torn between the warm society of Redfall the was made by the Austin. Power okay. Of the undead. Yeah. And, uh, this is their French as studio. As a kid of okay. mixed origins, uh, yeah. his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> Well, if, <laughs> if my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down, ça serait un petit peu la merde quand même. <laughs> Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person Action adventure okay. set in the heart of Paris. Third so person. Third person. Back, okay. Let us cook. That's different voila. from them, right? Merci beaucoup. Merci. She's the first person. Wow. That, whoa. <laughs> Stunts too. Ding a bell. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Made the cameraman right. flinch. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Now please welcome the star <laughs> of like Twisted now. Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Adaptation, Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie, my oh, man. He's yeah. a cool dude. He's great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Everybody gave up. You guys didn't. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And, <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, yeah, I have one thing to do before I get on to the That show ended up being more fun than I thought it was going to be. Here. 
Okay. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. That was Gucci I, I fun. I've heard it was Watch really it. good. Yeah. I like, people it. really enjoyed it. Okay. All right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> now, no one knows this yet. So, you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so, everybody Aww. get your motor revving. Because you're going job. on another ride with John Doe. Went from being memed great. on to guys, getting a season two. That's pretty right. good. You guys look great. Hey, Liana, Keep again. Going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look times. great. <laughs> don't, don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop it, you. Okay, love you too. I see you. I see you. Shut up. Okay, today, <laughs> the best games are like living universes, constantly expanding with new content. Sounds like Violet, but American. Right? <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> this award for best ongoing game recognizes. The games that continue right back, to deliver guys. fresh experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Final Fantasy surely wins. I guess, is Fortnite in here? I think that is. No gun, no fun. Cyberpunk. The hour has come, free try. Fortnite versus Final Fantasy XIV versus Genshin. Oh man. Versus yeah. Okay. Let's we'll see. I get so many cool points with there. my son. That is pretty for this stacked. Moment. Um, all right. So <laughs> the game award goes to Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. Cyberpunk. It's good that they got something, this I'd say. Heavy, dude. This is heavy. Yeah, I'm happy they got something from this. Oh my they had goodness. a great what a DLC. What a journey. Great comeback it's been. story, yeah. Great comeback, Holy. yeah. Video games are awesome. <laughs> this is an incredible moment. From launch to 1.5 to 2.0 in Phantom Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate Edition. Like, the tenacity and the resilience of the team and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact. Worlds that are immersive, you know, the world being immersive, and of course the gameplay just being fun. Fun as hell. I, this is exciting. Team, we accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy yeah, here. Please say something. <laughs> and I mean, I, I have to <laughs> include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. <laughs> it was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently, we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk oh, music. 2077, and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like how it switches from one track to the other. This is like the get off guys, the stage I, track. This yeah, is yeah, that's right. Really <laughs> memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA 5, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, that's funny. and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Mm, I do like Steve C. Those Martin words. is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you right, here. You showed it, showed brand this new, this let's go. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. <laughs> Over the past few years at Lightspeed LA, myself and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans 200. and fresh wow. new talent. It's a pretty big studio. Yeah, no doubt. On a fully original, triple-A futuristic open world game. Tonight, we're really excited to okay. offer you a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future. But for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. 
Amazing. Let's take a look, Steve. Here we go. This city isn't ongoing. <laughs> That's the community support, okay? Clearly robots, right? It's going the women? Go yeah. Going to be okay. Oh, that's traumatizing. The demon is here. It's the demon. The demon. The demon is here. Oh. We're the demon. I, I want to be the demon. I think we are the demon. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I always want to be a badass demon woman. That does sound like fun. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I love everything I'm seeing. Sign me up. Last Sentinel. Last Sentinel. Put it on the list. Definitely interested. World looks cool. Character's cool. Lift your head. Uh, last the Senate. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't have money for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a breath and look around you. That's how that character's arc powers awaken was drowning. Which not makes serious. Sense. That's that's yeah, that's her backstory. That makes sense. And she's really fun to play. Fate always tests us. You have to fight until the end. I'll find you. <laughs> you can check out uh, it's a couple folks who have made videos on the first ascendant on the podcast. That was the first Descendant, oh, Nexon. which is That's that the summer Indies, of 2024 That's right. from Nexon. Now we have a new look at Hoyo vs. Next Big Game, okay. Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I had my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom, and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here. I got to crack the window in my office. It's getting toasty. Do it. I was pretty excited for ZZZ, but people played it, and they're like, the, the combat is kind of meh. Oh, that's no good. I said it was kind of shallow. Um, I'm still going to give it a try because I was definitely interested in this one. Yeah. Kitties and bandanas, I'm always in. <laughs> Yeah, I want to try it for myself, obviously. What happened to Briar? He said, be right back. Might have got kidnapped. Might have got eaten on the way back. There was a pizza emergency. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the worst kind of emergency. A pizza emergency? Yeah. A house on fire? I had to take that fucker down. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it came to violence. It was it was me or him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ate him. Done. Great pizza man.
Got Korean barbecue pizza, which I've never had before. It's delicious. What? Ooh. Yeah, it's real good. You're gonna need to tell me Ooh. more about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They call us the children of Providence. Robotech? Korean barbecue pizza, yeah. That's good. I know. We're all intrigued. <laughs> nice thin cool. crust that's kind of crunchy. Fires of Rubicon. Is Robotech still an active franchise? Ooh, I have no idea. This looks like you're gonna have a lot of fun right before you have a seizure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Zone of the Enders? You think this is a Zone of the Enders game? That would be Kojima would be on that. Mecha Break. We've been gamers break. to demo the latest Cyberpunk update, but we haven't okay. told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> What do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook. It's going to be it's going to wow. be a 50 something, isn't it? Now. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh my god. Game okay, streaming. I never guessed that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. You just proved that none of you should feel latency. The tide Now we all know you're 17 points. Yes. <laughs> As we battle against the bugs, the automaton threat grows more menacing. Was this Helldivers? Wait, we need is that on PlayStation? I don't remember anymore. Take on these deadly robotic <laughs> hordes and spread our message. Hop in, Mylan, get in! Get in! Oh, he said, "How much time is left of the show?" I don't know. Is this know. Helldivers? Use the galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad worth dying for. Join the Hell Divers. There you go, Hell Divers. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be playing Hell Divers. Do you want to do a DCP Hell Divers? Okay. So many great looking games. I, honestly, this is pretty pretty good what game awards. Is your life yeah. It is pretty good. Yeah. My honor is my life. What is your I'm gonna have craft? to check February. <laughs> My is There's been month. quite a few mentions for February. What is your pledge? My Dr. Island. Mylan. Hey, Mylan. I mean, Mr. Koala, um, you can now take your leave. <laughs> Mylan can take your spot. Thank you for coming, though, Mr. Koala. You've been an excellent <laughs> guest. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Live and exclusively here special surprise. at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. I am your host. I'm to make sure I'm synced. Are you guys watching the old guard, the old, old, old guards of Asgard? Uh, no, there's a man on the stage. Oh, yes. Old gods of Asgard? Oh, gods of Asgard. Yes. <laughs> Asgard. Yes. yes, there's a man on stage talking. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. Have you played Alan Wake 2? No. I came out when I was in Japan and then I got back and was playing other stuff. I wanted to play it though. I There's literally it. like a musical like playable scene this like this and it's so good. It's it's Are you gonna turn your camera on, Mylan? I'll put the quad back Yeah, on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn it on. Just you don't have to. Just like... I'll turn it on. I'm playing the game right now. I don't even need to play it. Look. <laughs> right there. 
Is that Keanu? <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like it's Morbin time. Hey, Mylan, how did you enjoy the day before? I mean, it's a shame it just came out tonight because I think it would be a contender for many awards. A <laughs> kind <laughs> <laughs> <Academy> of award. <laughs> I mean, it's up there with certain types of entertainment. <laughs> like a cruise with the grandparents? Do you think that's that a first show <laughs> I've had? Or do you think that's... Uh, I don't know the status of his eyeballs. Is that an insensitive out. question? <laughs> Should I not ask about the status? I don't know. What I patch? <laughs> read, read the fucking law. They're the gods of Asgard. He's, he's bloody... He's Odin? He's, he's Odin, yeah. He's, he's, he's literally Odin the game, yeah. This is very cool. The performance have been great. We've had three and all have been good. Oh, it's certainly it worse than Kong. All right, it's honestly, worse than Kong. For honestly, sure. honestly, it's probably worse than Kong. Gollum <laughs> might actually be better. No, it's really bad. Okay, like, I, the whole thing of an. I know we're like off topic, whatever. The song's on, right? Yeah, we get the songs on. We can talk about the songs on. We're listening and talking. Yeah, the day before, I finally got an extraction. Lost all my gear. I put it in my stash. It disappeared. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> love it. Oh, you, you love that. When you're can you imagine a Destiny getting a drop and then putting it in your vault and it just disappearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I um, I was in a fight with somebody and I hid behind a car because he like shot me first. I killed him and then my foot got stuck in the car bumper and I couldn't move. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So I had to close the game. Yeah. Wait, is that the Max Payne guy again? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you know this? Do you know the story behind like all the Alan White universe and Max Payne and all that kind of stuff? I mean, I know they're connected, but no, I don't know the full story. Oh, just make a great that, YouTube rock, video. Rockstar, <laughs> Rockstar. Yeah, sure. I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah, I know Rockstar owns Max Payne, so they can't use that yeah. anymore. So there's lots of like Easter eggs in it. But they're yeah. making a Max Payne remake right now. Very good. And very good. Fabulous they like blasting the that crowd with those spotlights. <laughs> <laughs> they really <laughs> do. <laughs> Sam Lake, Remedy, Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life. Something you will only see right here on the game. 2017. Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game oh, we announced back in, GTA in 2017. Oh, I think you're way ahead of us. You are way ahead of us. Ahead of us. <laughs> you're probably like 40 seconds ahead. <laughs> Shit. DCP did a sponsored stream with GTFO. That's right. Are you on, that was um, a fun are you watching on YouTube, Miles? Yeah. Where should I be watching? We're watching on YouTube with 4K? I don't know if that makes sense. thousand lives. On YouTube, IGN. Oh, yeah. Go to the Game Awards one. That one has it in 4K, too, which is nice. We are now as one. It's just the Game Awards YouTube channel. Until the end. One final. I actually battle. played GTFO with the devs as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. I liked it. It was very This game's cool. actually hard. Yeah. It is hard. It's actually pretty hard it to stay hard. alive. But it was fun. Yeah, I loved it. Remember. Can you let me. We need to work out if we're synced now. Developed. Developed by 10 Unity. Chambers. There you go. Okay, so now you're probably like one second behind, which is perfect. Joining me now oh, yeah. is Ulf from Ten Chambers, trailer that was six <laughs> years ago. We announced uh, GTFO. I have Maul in the head of the Final eyeball. chapter, you've got a free weekend <laughs> on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank you. Oh. For, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. You look good too. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said like the bar. Uh, yeah, we're Ooh, working on something Hello, new. thank and, you uh, very much. Uh, he was pre-gaming. Some project like, like all our projects are. 
And so this you were known for delicious. payday, things like that. So you're back, yeah, back to some heist stuff? I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back. Man, he just looks like Alan Tudyk. And it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Okay. And yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. to the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's yeah. finally time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Old oh. 10 Chambers. Here we go. Let's go. New game, baby. Cooperative Cancel FPS heist game. Reset the procedure. Continued neuro prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. I'm Mr. Bowman. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. What are you going to find in the next sentinels, you mother? There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Looks like marathon. <laughs> it's got some marathon vibe, doesn't it? It does have marathon vibes. Cool sci-fi. Cool. Interested to know more. Okay. I hope you guys been keeping a list. I've been able to keep a list. I have been keeping a list that interests me. <laughs> God damn it, what's... <laughs> you didn't keep my list? No, I did not. <laughs> Although there was that game uh, by the the goose guys that we should play together. Oh, that's right. No. Oh, with Whoa. the ants. Egon. Are they ants? <laughs> They're there. What's this? <laughs> Are you? Is this a new Bionic Commander? Fortnite. Oh, it does look <laughs> like a Bionic Commander. Oh, it does look like Bionic Commando. I could never pass that game as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out for that butt! Never mind. Extraction inbound. Good to go. Easy in, easy out. Extraction inbound, huh? That's uh -oh. alright. Extraction, oh, you say? <laughs> Please, I'm not ready for another extraction. <laughs> <laughs> This, I mean, there's lots of people on parachutes. Master of the apocalypse. <laughs> Exoborn is definitely. That was Exoborn. I met with the team. And attraction. Take a look at that yeah. upcoming tactical <laughs> third no, person two. Third shooter. Third person. The project is led by some of the creators of the there division. You go. And besides facing other players, the division. factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the forces of nature, unlock the potential of the players' exo rigs to help master the apocalypse as they say much more is coming in 2024 on exoborn now please welcome the voice of loki in asgard's wrath 2 one of the most ambitious and anticipated vr games yet matt mercer matt mercer hey there uh hey i mr critical so role beyond so, excited huh? to show you this trailer for our asgard's wrath 2 i've been Working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki this to life has just been repeats. absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath <laughs> 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Sanzaru Games, at Oculus yeah, lots Studios, of extraction shooters and MetaQuest. So without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. I'll listen to this guy say anything. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, I'm caught up in his hair. <laughs> the gods take 
everything for mortals. Bleed these lands. I've honestly been thinking about getting better, eh? Memphis. Mylan was so, yeah, Mylan. I keep calling you nice Mylan and Briar Mylan and Briar Mylan and Mylan Briar. Briar was saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just the standalone nature of it seems really cool. It is very cool. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his Not being tied to a PC gives you so much more freedom of where you can play it. <laughs> I set mine up Universe yesterday and was a pain the butt. My, my heart and my and with one. each possession. This looks sick, though. It's so hard to show VR. Yeah, like, no doubt. It's just not the same, you know? Yeah. It looks cool, though. I do want to try that Assassin's Creed game, too. I'll get sick, I think. People say it's really good. Like, if motion sickness isn't too bad. Really? Yeah. I get, I get it bad. Do you get a bed? Yeah. December 15th. Oh, that's close. Yeah. Wait, so when are we playing Lego Fortnite? There is no time. <laughs> I've already got like five hours in. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, he was playing Lego Fortnite instead of the day before Milan, like a smart person. Your face. No, I don't know why you're angry at me once. <laughs> well, I was doing the same thing. <laughs> This looks really sick. Is this a that looks very better cool. quest again? Okay. Yeah, I think I gotta get one of these. Free when you buy the other quest. <laughs> Foolish mortals. Hey, that price I can't afford not to get one. <laughs> I'll see you sooner than you think. I might I'm gonna hopefully do a stream tomorrow. Watts if you wanna do some Lego and everyone's it's around. Been an yeah, I'm good down. Not just for games, but for hopefully adaptations of better. the games we love. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly right, anticipated the movies, new the series, shows. Fallout. Fallout. Yes. Oh. I'm excited Hello for another there. trailer. Oh, okay. It looks now very good. Turn on some light. Yeah, Fallout looked good. <laughs> what? Well, got it. Oh, I like that actor. Uh, yes. Severance. Yes. God, Severance is so good. Yeah. What's season two of that? Soon. Well, well, you know what they say. It's such a good setting for a TV oh, series. Changes. Yeah. Yes. I hope it's good. Prime does not have a hundred percent hit rate. <laughs> From Fallout, please welcome Aaron Moto, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. Bam. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us. The armor us. looks so good. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. What? what? Our last buzz is going to win this, I think. Well, it says our bosses are here. But How what? big is the dude in that armor? Oh, there they are. Oh! Hey! So, where's he looking out? <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Howard. Todd Howard. Good catch, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, yeah how you doing, man? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Okay. So this year, <laughs> video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for best adaptation. Best adaptation. Last of Us wins, probably. I will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. Mm -hmm. If you don't there's hope for the world. Still haven't seen that Grand Tourism movie. Really. going on? I got this. Oh, no Mario Brothers probably going to win. Hey. 20 years ago, it could go either way. The Last of Us. The Last of Us? Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. I can. Wow, wow. Uh, then again, the Twisted Metal. I didn't see it, but people really loved that too. To it was fun. Yeah, I liked it. The Last of Us. Yeah. Of course. Of, of course. course. Naturally. It was very good. They did a good job with it. 
They did a good job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try catch up to you guys. Let's do it real quick. You'll be really mad if they remastered the TV show. Twice. I can give you a step by step <laughs> of what they're doing, Milo. Uh, guy with glasses walking forward. He's yeah. just reached the. Oh, he just step fell on the stairs. Right oh my god, he just broke his teeth. How you gonna show him dirty <laughs> like that? Guy with glasses. He grabbed the statue. Uh, he's shaking hands. All right. Uh, okay, clock He's second. at the microphone. Uh, shout out to my partner, yeah, Crime, Craig close. Mason, who's watching up in Canada, <laughs> getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Naughty Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a lot, uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. Uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much, thank you. Dude, how's the wrapping up music all the time? Like, they get like oh, 10 it's, seconds? It's yeah, wow. Wow. They do not give them long at all. <laughs> Dude, it's not even about the awards, it's about fucking ads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got fishing, better than Destiny. Fishing. Oh, what's the name of this game? I've seen this. Oh, this is a Pallia or something? Pally. It, it's, it's like a, it's like oh, Sims, Sims meets Fable meets, uh, it's like an open world RP MMO. It was a pretty sick hat. Dog. This looks too wholesome for me. I don't know. Yeah. Right. You can, can kill take... the tree, Milo. <laughs> can I raid people's bases and take all their hard work? <laughs> Free. Free on Nintendo Switch. It's already on PC. Oh, here oh, look, you go. Look, it's Monster, Monster Hunter Monster, now. Monster Hunter. Yeah, but it's Monster Hunter yeah, now. It's mobile, though. It's going to be mobile. That's why they're outside in the streets, right? <laughs> well, you know what? I don't mind good mobile games because everyone takes the holiday every now and then, and I ain't taking my PC with me. So, so I yeah. So I've been thinking that Monster Hunter will get an announcement this year for something, but then Dragon's Dawn was announced younger, for March, and now I'm like, with who I was, gotta have some time to breathe. Was. I took okay. a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. And now I don't, I'm not confident anymore. And it's evolved over time, especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? <laughs> Hindsight is a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary. Is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Seems like it would make me cry. Whenever someone tells mm -hmm. me that they've cried from something that I've made, <laughs> it's always when people cry is where I feel. No, oh, yes, yeah, see, that's her goal. Yeah. I want to keep making people feel things. Not making me feel bad. <laughs> Oh, ten years ago, No Man's Sky was revealed. Ten years ago? Ten years. Am I that fucking old? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. If you've never tried the VR in No Man's Sky, it is mind-blowing. I haven't. It's I haven't. exceptional. Ten Why would I play No Man's Sky? I got Starfield now. Milo loves Starfield. Pretty clear. I agree. <laughs> Man, this game is crazy. Yeah, it's come so far. Where it came from. Really I haven't booted it up in probably four years. I should reinstall it. Man. Our journey continues. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That looks sick. This game is crazy. I gotta restart that. right that. there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. 
Sean, uh, looks like Mr. the content Murray. keeps rolling in 2024. But what What's would you guys wear to the Game Awards? Like? Would you wear jeans well, or, so, start with, or like a dress? Uh, next year is going to be a really big year for mm. No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now. And I don't know. I still really Blue love it. Still really enjoy no it. T-shirt underneath. Crocs. What people don't know <laughs> that for the last yeah. five A croc years, outfit would be good. Uh, Head to toe day, croc. Yeah, something yeah really. Very different. Something <laughs> really go for more it. ambitious. Really that plastic yeah. ripping out. You know, for, <laughs> that plastic uh, material with the go. holes in it. <laughs> yeah. Just like a fish, like a fish net. <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse alien looking planets and that wasn't easy you know it was hard but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do uh, for our new game we wanted to create an earth um you know something okay. as varied a planet that is as varied as a universe something bigger than earth something with you know mountains real mountains not video game mountains but mountains that are miles high taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. Oh, God, I'm getting you know, sick yeah, again. Ocean. This is I mean, about this a is new awesome. game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they've learned a lot over 10 yeah, years, so. Yeah. True. Open world, right? What's that saying? Something like, fool me once. <laughs> I, uh, want you fool I hope they've learned not to together. set expectations it's, higher than they can do right. at launch. People can live out there. Co-op? MMO? Adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Wow. Uh, we're s dozen people. Uh, we're very excited to share this. You're not well, going to be years. so nice, yeah, though, to have we're like we're a team of a nervous, dozen people to you know, work with, but, right? Uh, uh -huh. Really excited. If you know, if people like it, this is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> we'll be back. But no, uh, let's take a look. Oh, this is such an incredible you project. I'm yeah, glad that we right. showed up. <laughs> Should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Like here, here it goes. New game. Ooh. God, that's got some destiny feels to it, Jesus. Those hunter capes. Okay. Is this an MMO? In-game multiplayer. Don't know if it's an MMO, but definitely multiplayer. Or is it just a survival crafting? Mouse? Wow. Okay, it's definitely it's definitely survival definitely, crafting. Yeah, yeah, definitely definitely crafting. It looks really I nice. I love though. that genre. So. <laughs> Give yeah. me a huge hummingbird. Ooh. Uh, yes, please. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. They got dragons. They got cigarettes and sold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty incredible looking. Oh man, my old manness is catching up to me. I'm tired. <laughs> this looks pretty good. This looks insane. Does that guy got like a rabbit a head? Of... He Rabbits. does. <laughs> And a lot of No Man's Sky is pretty similar to this at this point. So it makes me a little more uh, confident. <laughs> this looks incredible. Mm. Light no fire. Light no fire. Add it to the list. Yeah, that's, that's got that's on the list. Go on the that list. Comes that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created indie team. team oh, Hello so you game. do know what it means, so, Jeff. Uh, very, Interesting. Very exciting, How cares? To, you could have uh, fooled me. See games based like on that what you said before. Kind of the next decade of where games are going. Twelve so people independent. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. I think even if that's not an MMO, it's just a good survival co-op. 
That looked really good. Oh, his leg. Yeah, it looked incredible. What's it's got like a stormtrooper's leg. How doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> My God, there's so many of you. you guys all look so. Dude, the so stormtroopers and Ahsoka. This, uh, <laughs> all right, first off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, yeah, this guy seems great. My foot's fine, you guys. I I did tear my Achilles. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. Oof. I wish I wish there were oh, a better story to this. Story. Only Miami bad things can happen this. to you in Florida, bro. Um, you know, as you age, as <laughs> you get older, out. you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold. Your body starts to break down. All right, things start happening. Don't call me um, out like that. Unless, yeah, yeah, you don't know what happened. Hey, for stop that. <laughs> don't apply. Um, guys, just if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching. All right, it's very important. Video games, dude. Um, just keeping it <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah, this is going to have a lot of people's heads right <laughs> now. I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm I'm really really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed okay. with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conqueror, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. Yes! So happy you guys cheered Our for that. Our craft's um, coming back, now, baby. Now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point over the past 10 years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, yes. I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Let's have a look. So um, apparently game devs have 30 seconds for their acceptance speech. That's it. Really? Huh? It counts down from 30 and then says, please wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up, B. I, I like, too late, I man. wish I could get more into RTS games, but I'm just scared. Oh, <laughs> just play camp, play a campaign. They always like teach you how to play. God's name if we don't. Yeah, but I, I want to get better and then, you know, you get Zerg rushed. I like, I like the graphics. I don't know that. Like the background looks pretty plain. Does a bit. Probably because the units have a lot of good, shit though. happening on the on the, on the screen. Fight, coward. Oh, it's on Kickstarter. Do you reckon there's a big market for RTS stuff? These I don't guys? think so. That was me. Neither. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for best action adventure game. Award. Best action adventure game. Action adventure. I don't be in the story just write me out of this story. Dude, I don't like playing plain it up. This is something else. Yeah. Miles, get it over him. We can fight this again. I love it. Your soul requires. I really got to play it. I didn't realize Resident Evil 4 had like so many changes. You witness a king's revival. Probably I don't have the a horse show in this race. No surprise here. Legend of Zelda, the Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. I don't know. I would say there no surprise go. here. I think that was a pretty yeah. strong category. Yeah, you gotta this give the other, the other the other solo credit there. <laughs> yeah. just no like surprise. It. No surprise with that trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like me saying, and whatever best looking guy on the podcast between Milan and Briar, I mean, none of us are shocked. No Not surprise a single here. one of us is a surprise that it went to Briar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game.
我々開発チームはこのゲームを「ゼルダの伝説」の中で最も壮大な冒険になるように一生懸命作り込みました。Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. Player の皆さん、それぞれのユニークなゲームプレイが皆さん独自のハイラルの物語となります。Player の皆さん、本当にありがとうございます。He's shaking. Everyone's unique approach to playing this game、uh, can become their own personal story、uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, You have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds up. Chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bit longer if you need to translate. Congratulations, Mr. Numa. Uh, that guy's going to limp off stage. A few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees Gibby. for Best RPG Baldur's Gate 3. Final Fantasy Best 16. Best RPG. Lies of P. Sea of Stars. Lies of P needs to win Starfield. something, man. <laughs> Even though it shouldn't, should have been in the other one and not this one. Baldur's Gate 3. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Here are the of course. Yeah, yeah. Best Sim of course. strategy game. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. City Skylines 2. Company of Heroes 3. I didn't even realize Final Advanced Wars 1 and 2 came Pikmin out. 4. And the game award goes to Pikmin 4. I voted Pikmin. Oh. Let's go, Pikmin. Really? I bought that Spring, game. It looks like you should play it. <laughs> I bought a copy of that game. <laughs> Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, Yeah, friends screaming in this suite. The for best multiplayer this year. I told Fryer you should play Pikmin. Diablo 4, Harvey <laughs> Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Brothers oh, Jolly Straight Vada. And the Game Award goes to... Baldur's Gate 3.、Mm. Having a pretty good night.、Oh, really? Baldur's Gate 3. For It's for multiplayer. Player's choice. Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, Genshin wins this because they cheat. Yeah. Genshin Impact, oh, yeah. Marvel's Final Fantasy 2. I can't imagine something beating a Zelda game like this. The Do they Zelda give you a reward for like signing up? The they give you a reward if it wins. Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. Baldur's Gate 3. That's amazing. You did it. You beat the the the, the, the Genshin's. No prima gems for you. <laughs> When they log in, they just get boo. You let us down. They like monitor again. <laughs> no primos for you. You didn't try hard enough. This looks like a mobile game. Yeah, the, they just said that. Yeah. No, they did. I'll we'll give it away. The giant, the giant mobile. Is that the Las Vegas Fear they're playing that on? Afros are cool. Ooh, <laughs> 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 oh. What are they announcing here? Guilty Gear. Are they a new character or something? I don't know what's going on with Guilty Gear. I heard it was going to be at the Game Awards. Yeah? 2.5 million players. I love the style yeah, this is an of amazing Guilty Gear so much. It's, It's sick. so beautiful. It's so fun to play, too. Oh, there is a new character. Mmm, Daredevil. I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's got a vibe, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, she just handed her a boom box and it went boom! <laughs> I love it. I love her. <laughs> well, wait, that's tomorrow. Jesus. 
Okay. That dude's name is Soul Bad Guy. Just <laughs> God, the game is so beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Can we have every game look like this? This would be great. What are people playing this on? Uh, PlayStation, Xbox. Oh, God, like everything? Like, yeah. is it mostly console? Or no? All right. Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. Yeah, giant robots and yeah, don't smoke. cigarettes. Robots and dragons. <laughs> Guys, it's don't Monster Hunter, look. <laughs> don't smoke, be addicted to games instead. Yep. Oh, Wait, when I was a kid, every Nintendo game came with a cigarette right in the box, you know? <laughs> like a pack in, like the manual. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Game Awards. We still got some awards to whoop, hand out. Whoop, Timothy whoop, Chalamet whoop, whoop. will be here to help. And we have some more world premieres, including this one. World premiere. This one? World premiere! Take a shot. Square Enix. Creative Business Unit 3. I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Final Fantasy 16 DLC! <laughs> It could be a PC announcement. It could be. A, well, yeah, maybe. Woken this place up. They are making a DLC. The question is, oh, it's coming to PC. This is a PC announcement. Oh wait, no, never mind. I mean, new chapters. Isn't this a DLC? Too? New chapters. Yeah. I have a feeling we're about to find out, and that we will not like the answer. Then we better cut this short. Yeah, new chapters. Ooh. Oh, man. That's a lot of pink. Yeah, that was flashy. The Rising Tide. This is having Leviathan in it, right? Was that Leviathan's abilities? Oh, it's the Tomberry King! Leviathan! Echoes of the Fallen and the Rising Tide. Wait, By Echoes of the Fallen? Buy it today? What do you mean today? <laughs> what do you mean by today? What does that mean? Experience new adventures before what does that the mean? final battle. Means you bought the day. Sixteen with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation. Dang. 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Drop now it. To present our next award. Best well, guess we're playing tomorrow. Please welcome one of our industry's greatest go. creative forces, the creator <laughs> of Call of Duty and global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends. Vince Sampella. We are returning to Final Fantasy 16. Titanfall mentioned gamers, it's happening, Titanfall 3. <laughs> Here we go. All right, good evening, everyone. So, we'll definitely play tomorrow, yeah, for sure. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Okay. Best Game Direction. How do you run from a story that lives in your head? Yeah, that's up there, right? Yeah, how does that Sam not is Definitely up there. Sam Lake's involved with so much, you know? All Miles talks about is how to be a better Spider-Man, how to help you. What a beautiful day! Link, you are our final hope. You must find me. Amazing. I actually think that's Alan Wake too. And the winner is... They've been cleaning up tonight. Alan Wake yeah. too. They have. Got it. There you go. Alan Wake too. I voted out like two for a lot of categories. Yeah, I think for game direction, that, that sounds right to me. I mean, that dude there, Sam, like, he's like, he's like an in the game too, like, as a character. Thank you. Uh, 
<laughs> he wore the they armor for nothing. <laughs> He's going to win game of the year and go up there, don't worry. Dr. Nicole, for believing in our vision. Uh, Crazy vision. <laughs> Crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy team for joining us on this venture, wanting to believe believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into... It's going to be hard to make like your third expensive. And, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do I say now? Like, uh, when <laughs> more than 100 people... Just, who wants uh, one? I got three. The same vision <laughs> and, and build something out of it. We can make miracles. We can make art and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. Uh, one other thing, uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. Hey. New story content, uh, so yeah. New Game Plus, Thanks. next week. Thank New you. Story Thank you, Game Awards. <laughs> you can tell Sam was like, all right, your one fucking job is to remind me to plug <laughs> New Game Plus. <laughs> Please welcome Gustav Tillaby, the creator Vince, come back. Time for three. Wowie. Oh, the finals. The finals. Release oh. date, I'm done. People, what if I drop it now? Are we dropping it? They might. What if I, what if I drop it now? When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. I would be. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Holy shit, myself. Standing here today, I'm so I proud did promise and people for the poopy pants. Team so. at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire Aww. us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very mm -hmm. end. It might be sooner than you think. Well, uh -huh. you. If they're dropping. Ooh, 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 they're hot dropping. 100%, 100%, 100%. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. I haven't been able to play yet because it's always been when I'm not here. I've always heard how good it is. I want to play it. Well, I'm already used to the lag because there was no Aussie servers last time. Hey, we can play together. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> get your spy glasses out. Get your eye goggles. Get your... Here we go. Play for it. There it is. Play now. December. There it is. Play now. Play, Play now. now. That's right. The finals is out tonight. Well, we got a busy day tomorrow. Steam, Xbox Series <laughs> X and S and PlayStation 5. After the show, make sure to check out the Game Awards in I get Fortnite play, as well. Finally. All month fans have been voting for their favorite user-created island of the year. And the winner is Fort Who. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning huh? island from our TGA map. Fort Who. While you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code is Have you guys seen the box? Still Peter the code, Griffin. the presentation of the yeah. of the year. Yeah. I just love that when, they, when you're down him, he does the... the <laughs> <laughs> she 
shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm about to get up at 2 o'clock again and play all the games. <laughs> Is Fortnite funding this whole thing? Maybe. They might be. Very well could be. They got enough money. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll know. Oh, that's a lot of big leave. numbers. A lot of tens. Party time. They got a cloth world map in that. It's cool. <laughs> it's pretty dope. When you get down with the Peter Griffin skin, he does the grabbing knee meme. Yeah, that's, that's what amazing. I was saying. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on Twitch, so where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More Award. Awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, now it's time for tonight's final world premiere. That's right. We're getting towards the end of the show. And this one... Final world I premiere. I speak for itself. Okay. I'm nervous. It kind of looks like Monster Hunter. No way. Is this Final Fantasy? I'm not saying anything until I know for sure. <laughs> I'm looks like a monster. This looks, looks like, like a monster, monster hunter. hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Does look very Mon Han, yeah. Oh my god. Am I happy? <laughs> uh, can I be happy yet, Mom? I mean... I told you the trailer was gonna go like that, too. I told you. <laughs> I called it word for word. Wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. I've been waiting all year. This looks insane. 2025. Ugh, too ah. far. <laughs> It makes sense. Dragon's Dog was coming out next year. Please welcome oh, to the Luma stage dropped his Monster head. Hunter series producer, Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game. And wow, I got to tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? Yes, Monster Hunter. え、こちらですね。Thank you Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh, this title back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as planned for release in 2025. Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any be sense March. of when we're going to see guess. more on this game? Yes, this title's release is in 2024, so I'm waiting for a while to wait for you to wait for it. And then, this year, Capcom has been celebrated for 40 years. 
、えー、この40年間、えー、応援してくださった、えー、ファンの皆様本当にありがとうございます、えー、これからもですね、えー、皆様に楽しんでいただけるいいゲームを、えー、作っていけるよう努力して、えー、頑張ってまいりますので、えー、これからも引き続きぜひよろしくお願いいたします We plan on revealing more information about this game in、uh, the summer of 2024, so we hope you keep an eye out for it. Also, Capcom is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary. I, like to I would know like、that. to thank all of the Capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all、Worlds、of the years. Worlds came out in like February, right? We couldn't have done it、right? without you. Capcom will continue to create exciting,、Dun. fun games,、uh, and the best is、Wonder、yet to come. Excellent. Thank you, Rio. January. So maybe. January. Yeah. Wow. Passion and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the game of the year were truly inspiring. Here, with a medley celebrating each of these games, once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. Oh, is he Liza P? No. <laughs> oh, no, because I thought he was a guy from Dune. <laughs> he is. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, someone, someone in chat says it's a Liza P guy. <laughs> He kind of looks like him. He does kind of look <laughs> like him. Oh, man. So, if it's early 2025, that'd be good. And maybe they'll do another demo. When did they do the demo for World? That was、they、like late. They do demos pretty much、yeah. all the time. So. so, that'd be good. That dude was playing the fuck out of that flute. Did you see that? Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, for Capcom, you get to play Dragon's Dogma next year, and then the year after, you get to play Monster Hunter. Yeah. I'm excited for a new Monster Hunter world. t h e r e wild. I hope they do. I really hope they just release PC at the same time, and I hope it's cross play. I hope so too. That's all I ask for. Did they ever do a, a next gen update for a world? Like for the PS5 and Xbox Series? I don't think so, no. I don't think they did either. No. Uh, this Eric's, Eric's his team made these. They're little, they're little palico cats with little monster outfits. <laughs> this is Paolumu. My mom thought this was some kind of sex toy. <laughs> I can see that. When I showed her, I was like, look, mom, look what I got today at the Capcom store. She's like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Kazu is kind of、mm. sussy looking. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole. I don't know if you guys are watching the live feed, but the whole face is yelling, Fluke Guy, Fluke Guy. <laughs> 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 fluke Guy, Fluke Guy, yep.、Mm. Fluke Guy, my love. <laughs> <laughs> There he is! There's always like one instrument player, I feel like, at the Game Awards that everyone's like, oh my god, look at that guy! He's going <laughs> yeah, for like, it! They, they don't play the flute, they are. The oh,、flute. he's standing up. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! He's evolved! He's upgraded! <laughs> <laughs> We're at stage two! We're at stage two of the evolution! <laughs> Big flute. <laughs> <laughs> That's some big flute energy. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, shit, I think he de evolved.、Oh. Okay, we're back to the flute. Wait, is that a flute? That's not a flute. Is that a clarinet? Who's playing now? Nah, he's just showing off, surely. <laughs>
And the game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. We're going right into it. Jesus Christ. Baldur's Gate 3. Get your arm and ass up there. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, there you thank go. He's like, thank, yeah, He's like, thank He's God. Like, yeah. <laughs> thank God I didn't wear this armor for three hours for nothing. <laughs> they deserve it for sure. Very oh, that's right. Them. He's like the CEO, right? He rocks up in his armor. Yeah, nice. Yep, yep. Where does one get a set of armor? <laughs> Do you reckon he can move his elbows or are they kind of frozen in that um, position? I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, Along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also, so we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners, uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. You want to hang out with Kezu? Congratulations, Spanning. Oh, Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. What a ride. We'll see you next year at our 10th anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12th, 2024. Happy holidays. How far is Monster Hunter I'm come see a dope that it's stuff. now like the last game announced, like the big right? reveal is right? Monster Hunter? Seriously. Yeah, cool. Such a fringe yeah. game in the U.S. for so long. Now it's the, it's the final world premiere, save to the right. end. We saw how many Capcom guys are in the audience. We were like, that's a lot yeah, of that Capcom was, that guys. Was suspicious. <laughs> that was highly suspicious. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to read you guys my list. Uh, it's not as long as I thought it was. Um, but we got Matchless Kung Fu, Windblown, Exodus, Big Walk, Prince of Persia, Pony Island 2, Panda Circus, no rest for the wicked. All Sega games. That's five. So all the Sega games. Future all Sega Rage. games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rise Shinobi. of Ronin, Black Myth, Wukong. Uh, I was super excited about Kemuri, even though we don't know anything about it yet. Vanishers, Ghost of New Eden, Tales of Kenzetta Zhao, First Berserker, Kazan, Blade, Last Sentinel, Helldivers Two, Exoborn, Light No Fire, Monster Hunter Wilds. I didn't note down the mo the No Man's Sky one because I missed the title. Yeah, what was that called? That was light no fire, wasn't it? Light no fire. Oh, was it yeah. light no fire? Oh, yeah. it was light no fire. Okay, I, I did write it down. Good job. I, I did it. Uh, that was me, I'm just a really good my finals team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play the finals. I'm literally just going, boys, Australian kids, we got the Aussie fucking yeah. stream. Let's go. That was a <laughs> really good game award. That like, was, was a really good So many good, good games. Really yeah, good I, my two, the, the things that, so it's actually really funny. I was saying, um, because, I was hoping for a Monster Hunter announcement all year, um, but I was like, crap, Dragon's Dogma is coming out. They're not going to want to bury that. That's a game that people have been waiting for for 10 years mm -hmm. um, or longer than that. So I was like, all I want is just like a little bit of like environment. And then you hear the music and then just says the next Monster Hunter title. <laughs> and I was like, there it is. We did it. That's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. That's what happened. I think I said people owe me two billion dollars if I get it completely. Yeah, you said, oh, so you said two billion. Yeah. Pay up, <laughs> pay up, <laughs> pay on up. Wow, that was really that was great. Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, that was a pretty good game awards. I gotta go to bed though. It's eleven o'clock at night. Uh, so yes. we're yeah, yeah, gonna yeah, cut yeah. the stream off. Uh, I will post Next this week on we YouTube. We can talk about our I thoughts. Probably won't post this on uh, to the audio version just because yeah, so much that makes video. Sense. Uh, but sense. we'll be back to our normal schedule next week. Thank you all for watching. And Thank we'll you guys you so much. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.